Today, I spent 100 days in Fortnite's newest game mode, LEGO Fortnite. So, I've been playing survival games for quite some time now, with countless hours in games like Stardew Valley, like Raft, and of course, Minecraft. But when I heard Fortnite announce this mode, I was definitely curious. I mean, Minecraft has LEGO mods that make everything look and act like LEGO, but never before have we gotten a real LEGO survival game. So here I am breaking away from my usual Minecraft content for the first time in a long time to really see what this mode has to offer. If you do go on to enjoy this, please don't forget to leave a like. This is 100 Days LEGO Fortnite. <laughs> this is kind of blowing my mind. I, I'm actually kind of speechless here. Holy dude, this looks really good. Okay. So we got pumpkins. Apparently there is a hunger system. We got like wood. I guess. What would be the hunger system? Is it the like green bar up there? I just like eat the pumpkins. Ah, it is. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. I guess it's more of a learning curve. It's kind of weird because like when I play Minecraft, you know, I just kind of know everything about Minecraft. Like I'm, I've played Minecraft for so long that I know so much about it, but this is entirely new. This is like a whole new experience. This is the first. Oh, oh God. Wait. Yeah. Look at how he just ragdolls. Just like spiders and stuff. Oh, come on, come on, get him. yeah, no spider is going to be the best of me. Oh, we got cows. We got moomoos over here. Are they submissive and breedable? I need to know. Okay. So for today, I don't know exactly what to do. I know if I pet these guys, they'll give me some like milk. Oh, you get 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I never thought I'd like Fortnite. I'm not a huge Fortnite fan. I've never really liked Fortnite. I played it a little bit back when it originally came out and then I stopped playing it because it was not for me plus pvp based games are also just not that fun to me what happens wait I can eat milk oh all right well we're at full health and full hunger now so I think each in-game day is like 15 minutes so it's kind of like minecraft actually you can also choose what kind of worlds you start in. I don't know if this is like a map. That is the most useless map I've ever seen. Cool. I think there's different biomes. Maybe we can sprint. This is really cool, actually. I am... So, oh my god, what? Look at the chicken! It's really cute, dude. Look at the Lego chicken. Okay, the inventory, kind of small. There's like equipment section. Apparently, you can give players keys, and those keys will let them play your world when you're not playing. It's like a server. Does that also mean that I can't pause? Oh, there's no pausing. Uh-oh. How do I make the campfire? Okay. Boom. Campfire... Is it already becoming nighttime? Man wants me to do all the work. Typical bear behavior. All right, so for a grill, we're gonna need some granite. So I have to just go punch it with my fists, like some heathen? Why do I even have... Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I'm doing it the hard way because I've already started and I am stubborn. I craft them while I'm out here. I cannot. All right. It's apparently raining now. So that's cool. It is a... Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a cow. Okay. Is it... Is it just getting nighttime already? Is that what's going on? Can't use in the rain. What? What? I can't make a shelter because I... Oh. Wait, I can't make a shelter. Uh, you have, oh. All right, we got our jank little sh stage one out of three. What? 
If, if it makes the same structure, why do I have to do this myself? Why does it have to rain today? Not enough resources. I can't use this because it's in the rain. Can I pick this up? Uh, I just destroyed it. Okay. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. It's fine. What? Oh, wait. That was enough. Yeah, that was enough resources to build the stupid house. Let's go. Um, This is so different than Minecraft. It's throwing me off. I, I don't have enough wood to build this. And it's dark now. It's dark outside. Oh, and there's like temperature issues. I can get some wood like this, right? Please. You're lying to me right now. This is how I spend my first night. Can I give me wood, please? Oh, wait. Okay. That might be enough. Wait, wait, wait. We might be, we might be good. Hold up. I keep hitting Minecraft buttons. These controls suck. Actually. It just says use crafting bench. It won't let me use the crafting bench. Did I just get really unlucky? Is my RNG just so bad that it started raining? I can't build what I need because I can't use the crafting bench, man. Okay, I can make a bed. How do I... Can I even get enough wood to make a bed? I have to keep coming back to get toasty. I was scammed. This is the worst first day you could ever have. I've had better first days in really messed up hardcore Minecraft worlds than I've had in this. What is that? What are you, RGB gaming fly? It's baiting me and I'm taking the bait. I don't care. I don't care. Come on. Is he gonna lead me to a, like a loop pinata or something? Okay. Let me into this. Let me into this. We're going back. We're going back. We're going. Oh, he's fast. Holy, he's fast. Wow. Okay. You know what? Fine. Okay. Never mind. I take back what I said. I'm going. Nope. Nope. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're leaving. We're leaving. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's okay. Everything's okay. So at this point, you can probably tell everything was not okay. It was now the beginning of day two. And after that little blender with the rain, I spent the entire first day essentially accomplishing nothing. And I don't really know what I'm doing in this world quite yet. So today it was time to get back to the crafting area and make myself some new tools so we could start building ourselves a base maybe not really sure i'm gonna make myself a forest axe bing axe acquired and now we need some wood for the pickaxe now that i got this bad boy oh it's kind of a cool animation okay <laughs> kind of explosive but i'll take it okay we got that make ourselves a regular pickaxe didn't make a bed i don't even know if you can sleep the nights in this game okay there's like newer versions of tools. Good. Porches. Small amount of warmth. Helpful for exploring caves. Dude, there's caves in this game. Okay, so we got like rarity of stuff. So let's take our pickaxe and go get some rocks, I guess. I don't think I want to live here. I just built that because I was desperate. Look at all that granite. I wonder how big stacks are in this game. We got some sheep. Let's go see what the sheep give us. I... Let me pet you! Good sheep. I mean, it's kind of obvious to give wool, but I don't know what the wool's for in this game. It's not for making a bed. After making my new tools and petting those sheep, I decided I was going to abandon my outpost for the day because it's not really anything that special i didn't really want to live there and i don't think you can pick up any of the things that you build but 
After abandoning it, I found myself exploring this nearby hill where I found this interesting looking structure. Dude, look at this place. Oh, oh God. Okay, wait. Uh, hey. Come on. How, how do you like, how do you not get hit by them? Are there like, sh okay. Eat, eat, eat faster. I don't want to die like this. You can't come up here, right? Haha, -ha, you're stupid. Yes, pathetic wolf. I can't believe that actually worked. That's kind of ridiculous. Come here. No, you're not done. No, you're not done. No, come back. Come back. Fine. Fine. Yes. What did you drop? Meat and wolf claws. Okay. Do we have anything here that's of value that we can actually loot? What happens if I break this? Do I just get the resources? I should probably use a pickaxe. Yeah, there's nothing really here. This looks interesting. Are these crates lootable? So they just have nothing in them. Okay, we have, we have a problem. So we got a big wolf over there. I think there's another wolf right there. And there's a wolf over here. I wonder if pickaxes do more damage to them. Oh. Ow! Nope. There's one damage. Is he gonna kill me? What are you? I didn't expect the enemies of this world to be so... Oh my god, the noise it makes! I died. So, yeah, it was uh, the second day, and I got killed. I, I don't even know what happened there, man. I just got killed by, like, Golem from Pokemon. He just rolled me over, and he, mo he made the most awful noises while doing so. I was not a fan. I ended up spawning back by my house, and I had to run all the way back to get my stuff. Luckily, since this isn't a hardcore world like in Minecraft, I was okay, but I sure didn't feel that way because I was very unprepared for what this world had to offer. Okay, so we're back to new. We've got all of our stuff. We're gonna grab a couple more pumpkins while we're here. I, I need to get some kind of armor or something. Maybe, how much would it take to chop down this tree? This, this has gotta be a ton of wood, right? After that, I wanna head for that. Oh, that was way faster than I thought it was gonna be. Oh! So you have to keep breaking some of the supply. That's a lot of wood, though. Okay, we got more wood. We're gonna grab more pumpkins. And we're gonna head for that tower over there. I really wanna see what, the, what that is. Hopefully there's no enemies that are gonna, like, destroy me. I did something awful. I killed- I killed one of the chickens. The noise it made was awful. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I need your resources. I'm sorry. Oh, you again. It's gonna kill me. Okay. He's pretty predictable, though. Round two. Come on. Come on, round two. Come on, roll. Roll. Listen to the noises this man makes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's in the ground. Is he supposed to turn invisible? Got him. Let's go. What's he drop? A shell. Oh, this is a desert biome. I need some place that's relative. What? No spiders. I, I do not like how the spiders jump. It, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of the spider mod in Minecraft. It gives me heebie jeebies. Not a fan of that. We're gonna go to like the top of this hill and start making ourselves a safe area. It's a desert, so surely it's not gonna rain, right? What is that sound? I just got here. Come on, man. What is 
Is that a cave? What is this? Never mind. No. There's gotta be like a cave here though. I feel like this would be like cave territory. Ooh, what is... Ooh, wait a second. Okay, so we got this is new. Spicy peppers. That's kind of goaded. How do we get up here? I need big jumps. Uppies. I need uppies. Oh, they have like different traits. This is kind of like Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. They have like different like resistances that they give you. What is that? Is this a scorpion? There's a scorp- Oh! Whoa! He did so much damage! What? I gotta be really careful here. What even just hit me? Was that a spider? Oh, oh, oh! It's a spider and I do no damage to him. No, no, no! Stop eating! Stop eating! Stop eating! Oh god. Oh god. I didn't expect this to give me a run for my money. I thought it was gonna be easy! Ooh. I have to push this down the cliff. I have to. It's my nature. I wonder if I was supposed to push it onto this geyser. Dude, that wolf looks really not. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, you can't. Is, is, there, is there no fall damage? If there's no fall damage. What I could do is I could try to use one of those geysers, if there's another one, to get on top of this area and mine this, like, gold. I know I'm trying to make a survival area and live for a minute, but I really want this gold. I'm gonna be honest, this game just got me. For the first second there, I was like, you know, this isn't that fun. But now, I am like, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Oh. Get away from me. Oh, this is... Dude. Dude, this... What are the... What is going on here, man? Oh my god. <laughs> this is not real. This is not real. Okay, we're going back to the original base. It's in the safer area. This area is not safe. I'm not welcome here. What is that? It's like a death club. Am I playing Fallout right now? Okay, geyser. Okay, I, actually, I think I'm safe. What is that? Are there bosses to kill? That's a big thing. That's a big dude. Can I, can I optifine zoom? <laughs> There's no optifine zooming. Okay, right here is relatively... Oh. I take back what I said. It's not safe at all. That thing just got killed by the wolf. Okay. We're going to use right here as our safe zone. We got to get rid of these guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. That is not a wolf. Why do things see you from so far away? Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm... Why do things hurt so much? You are useless. Thank you, by the way. He just didn't follow me. He's useless. Okay. Uh. Oh, man. I've got nothing. Um, Health charm. Silk thread, marble, and shell. Porches, wood, and vines. Okay. So, I'm back at the base. Kind of stuck here now. We've got to build our way back up before we can go over there to get our stuff. Okay. We have a new axe. Cool. And we need to make more wood. You know what, buddy? You came to the wrong campsite, dog. Give me your stuff. Ooh. After getting more food and making all my tools during the night, now that I was prepared fully, I set back out to reconquer the area where I died. Today, I was getting my stuff back. Look at this man chasing me. Do you see this? This is goofy animation. Look at this. Just another day in Australia. Fun fact, actually, on my spider video, if you haven't seen it already, you should totally check it out. It's a really good video. When I was surviving against all the spiders, the number one comment that everyone had said was like, oh man, you just survived in Australia. You survived in Australia. Everyone was so proud of that comment. And I found it hilarious because it was the only comment that was like 
on the video. Like, for the most part, that was all the people commented. It was just that. So we've got our stuff now. This man's gonna die. I did mean to hit that. Come on, bozo. Come on. What is this? Is it raining? Come on, bozo. I'll take the hit. Actually, I don't think I can take one of these hits. Whoa! Come on. Did I just get struck by light? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just get struck by lightning? Oh my god. What? The Dude, this game is brutal. What? This is messed up. Dude, you're lying to me right now. There's also a really big thing down there. I don't know what he is. I'm not touching him. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, throw stuff at me. Come on. Come on, you little Beyblade. 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 Let it rip. Yeah. Get destroyed, nerd. Okay. So, once again, we're in the same predicament where we're stuck in a thunderstorm now. And there are spiders everywhere. Ooh, hello. Wait. Is this is this a golden offer? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Dude. That not cool. This is not cool. Okay, chest. Okay. Cool. What is the quick way to take everything? E. Wolf claw and Okay, so we got some silk. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table. I wonder if we can make a bed, too. What is this? Lumber mill. Builds objects like planks and rods for crafting. Into food used for healing. Let's try making one of these as well. Oh, now it stopped raining. I'm ready to make a nice little camp. And it stops raining. Okay, we're going to place one of those. Okay, so we can make some grilled meat make corn on the cob. Corn on the cob gives you extra speed. Fried eggs gives you speed. Spicy burger. Ooh, we need flour for that though. All right, we can make ourselves some mood, some some food. I don't know why I doesn't say mood. I hear frogs, but I I don't think are there frogs? For the time being, I'm just going to grab a bunch of food. Okay, there's more spiders. Somehow, Minecraft is... I mean, maybe it's just because I'm used to playing Minecraft so much. This game is entirely new, so I don't entirely understand everything. I'm not saying I know everything about Minecraft, but I know a lot about Minecraft. I have genuinely spent thousands of hours in that game. Probably, actually, I may have spent a year's gameplay in Minecraft at this point. I don't know. I'd rather not think about it, to be fair. Okay, so now that we're a little more set up, we can kind of reapproach this desert biome. So, good and bad thing. What is that noise? Good and bad. What is this? The last pa- Oh! Dynamite? Hey! Good and bad news. I can get to some gold over here. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's not attacking me. Oh, I can't get to the gold. Okay, we're gonna try to take this. We're gonna big brain this. Absolute big brain. I'm assuming you can get some kind of like umbrella or something. Yeah, I just can't make it. I think I'm just gonna get killed again. We need to leave. It's too hot. Our inventory is so full. We need to make a place to live too, man. Oh, you had to be there, didn't you, buddy? I was trying to retreat out of this biome. I just wanted to see what this was first. Ooh, slap berry, slap juice, raspberries. Okay. I took your stuff, now I'm leaving. See you, nerd. Bye. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. What can I say? At this point, I have died as many times as I've spent days alive in this world. That is my third death, and this time, I was not going to sit there and re-prepare again. I was just going to go gung-ho 
and run straight towards my loot before heading back into the moderately safe area that wasn't a fire biome or a ice biome or whatever just the area that i was okay in relatively at least that is if wolves did not decide to try to eat my butt cheeks but wolves aside i spent a lot of this day just heading back to collect my stuff so we're we're back to our stuff during the daytime it's too hot in this biome right now we can't be in the desert so we're gonna grab our stuff and i saw a yellow house over there somewhere we're gonna make that like our temporary home and hopefully on the map i can actually make some kind of like a waypoint or something why is the backpack so glitchy because we we're running out of inventory space our inventory is pretty much full and i'm i have not gotten anywhere survivability wise i'm still getting destroyed by pretty much anything i just got one shot by him i'm at full health you can't walk two inches in this game okay I'm, i've learned my lesson i've learned my lesson i'm going back we're going back again oh my god <laughs> we're we're going back again we're gonna go grab the stuff again and we're gonna go to the yellow house that's the goal that yellow house right there you see that beautiful thing we're going there we're gonna stay in the green areas because obviously everything over there is much higher level i get it now i get it i'm fine i'm, I'm chill i'm chill game i'm fine it's okay all right we're gonna grab this i love how when you pick up the backpack it keeps the organization of your inventory doesn't screw it all up that is so helpful all right please let me mine it let me mine it no no you're lying oh okay 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 let's just we're going to the other house that's the plan can't believe i'm gonna say this but pickaxe in this game or that's bait he's, he's gonna bait me into dying am i gonna fall for this no no i'm not falling for that again okay as i was trying to say like three times pickaxes in this game are weaker than pickaxes in minecraft which blows my mind oh there's a chest upstairs hey yo we got some milk in this destroyed house remember milk never expires anyways with that disturbing advice aside now that i had found a place that was relatively safe and it was nighttime i got to building i made myself a bed and i made myself some crafting tables so that way i could see what kind of resources i could put together only thing was while doing this i had a bunch of skeletons nearby that did not want me to exist in peace so i very quickly had to show them who was boss after doing so i spent the rest of this night just gathering more resources and putting together my inventory while organizing so I could figure out how to get more survivable and not have every little thing absolutely decimate me the next morning. What a beautiful morning to have not fought skeletons the entire night because they wouldn't leave me alone. And you, I've also found out you can't sleep in a bed, so yay. But I did figure out the next step, bench upgrade. You can upgrade your bench. I just need eight planks and three shells. So the shells come from those jerks that keep roly poly ollieing me. Shout out to Rolly Polioli if you know that show. And then the planks come from... We can craft ourselves... Ooh. Activation switch. Thrusters. Boom barrel. Yo. Okay. Village square. Establishes a village in the surrounding area. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, that's cool sounding. One thing at a time. We need 15 granite to make ourselves the lumber mill. What kind of stuff did I stick in this chest back here? not granite so we need to go out and get ourselves 15 granite before we can make what we need and there are no stones anywhere i had to go a bit far to get some more of this but i think we oh what's up spider come here come here come on you know one day i want to be able to beat that big guy that big guy over there can't really see him that well that dude my goal is to kill one of those that's what I want to do. First things first, we need resources so we can get better tools. Now that we are back home, we can make ourselves a lumber mill, which is, I guess we'll put it out here because it's kind of big. And with this, we can make planks. We're going to make two planks 
And we need a total of eight. Okay, wow. So we need to get eight planks worth of wood, which is kind of convenient because I've got a bunch of these just laying around. So that was two. We need enough for six more. And then I've already got a couple of those shells that we got from hunting those stupid guys, but... Oh, we can make a shield! Oh, we can actually block things now! Yeah! Maybe I should have paid attention to this first and not ran into the most dangerous biome. Just a thought. I may have gone a bit overkill on wood. We've got 43. <laughs> and I also took some damage because one of the logs fell on me and started just, like, throwing my character down the cliff. So that was fun. But we've got, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. We got two more. And that is all eight planks that we need for our bench upgrade. We can also make a shovel now. Shovels use planks and iron rods. Ooh, we can make a sword and shield, finally, like the Pokemon games. I can actually attack things now, okay. I really should have done this first. I'm gonna be real. Okay, so bench upgrade, we have our eight planks. We need three shells, which I... Do I have three shells? We have two shells. We are one shell away from the bench upgrade. Since we can come back here and work on other tools... Actually, no. That's a bad idea. You know what? Better idea. Let's dump a couple things into this chest. We have to make more chests because we have just too much stuff on us. I can't dump anything. I've got so much stuff on me. Okay. We're going to grab some of these. And we're going to use those to make us a sword. And night shield needs a cord. How do you make a cord? So cords are made with vine. Oh, it takes five a piece. I didn't know that. Now that I had all these different crafting machines and we were officially cooking, I spent the rest of this day and night putting together all of the new upgrades that I had. I now had a sword. I had myself a shield and I had access to tons more crafting resources to make new and exciting things. The next day, I was going to set out and hunt a couple of those rolly guys to steal their shells to make my new upgrades. Things were finally starting to not kill me, I guess. I have so many upgrades. We've got a sword and a shield. I got this. I don't want to waste any arrows yet. Uh, I made some torches. We've been like attracting a lot more attention with the light. Really looking forward to making, like, a bigger settlement. My inventory is still full. I'm trying to make chests, man. So, a couple of things I will say. I don't like how the game does, like, moving stuff in storage. And my inventory is way too small, and my hotbar is way too small. But besides that, like, the sword is so much better. Look at this. Ready? Boom. Boom. Lock it. Boom. Dead. Retap. Gone. What is that? I'm not going over there. I'll wait until daytime, and then we're going to set back out and try to do something new. Actually, wait. We don't have to wait till daytime yet, because I can make two things now. One, I can make chests. And two, we can upgrade the bench, because I killed a third one of those shell guys that was nearby. I was getting some wood, and he just, like, snuck up on me. So, boom. Only thing is, this is a huge commitment, because now I think this specific bench is the upgraded one. You know what? Let's build a village square. This will make like our big town area that we want to decide on. I think we'll put it right here. Yo, it's a village. Okay. We're gonna have purple. Of course. We're gonna have that. And boom. Whoa. Wait a sec. Yo, this is insanely cool. This is like some of the Minecraft mods. You could, there's like village levels that tells you which biome you're in. Villagers assigned to wood cutting will produce more wood types. You can have villagers and the villagers can actually do stuff. They're not like Minecraft villagers. They're not useless. So I need granite to upgrade this villager again. Dude. Log lookout. There's like so many more things I can make now. Oh man. Let's go get some granite and let's upgrade the village. I am a little bit overwhelmed right now. There's a lot of stuff to work on. I ran around gathering nearby granite, but I had to be careful because if I got too close to that desert area, that big guy that was stalking me would attack. He was actually getting quite close, and I was starting to fear for my life. Hey, 
I can now one-shot spiders with one of my cool swords. You know what? Life was simple, but good. All right, now that we have what we need, we have our granite, we can upgrade the village. Boom! Big noise makes it sound important. So I will say you can't build stuff like in Minecraft, so it is a bit limiting, but still kind of cool. So now an additional villager can live at this village. How do you get villages? Friendly explorers will visit the village. I'm guessing that's how. Villagers can be asked to forage nearby resources, refine wood, or refine stone. This is really cool. What? Okay, one thing at a time. ADHD brain overload. We're going to get some of these. We can now make a forest axe. The green uncommon version. So we have a much better axe. I can't make a pickaxe yet until I get... Not root rods, which I don't know how to even get those. How do I upgrade the bench again? Not root rods, marble slab, sand claw, sand shell. Wow, that's a lot, actually. What is that? Oh, we got chicken. I can't make any fences yet, though. I would love to capture some chickens. Oh, wait, fences. Oh, we can make fences. We can capture animals. One thing is I'm really running out of resources here. I'm trying not to chop the trees that are too close to the house. Because I want the house to look cool. I don't want, you know, I don't like when you take away all the trees. It, it doesn't look as nice. I like a good natural look to an area. I will say, though, the daytime in this game goes by so much faster than Minecraft, man. Okay, so I have an idea. We're going to grab these pumpkins. Wait. There's people here. You guys are fre- Oh. You guys enemies? Dude! Dude! This does so much damage! Dude got ganked! Oh. Oh. Smack him. Oh! I will take your free pickaxes and loot. Thank you guys very much. You can pick up the- Oh! I thought I was done. Fine, fine. Let's go. Combat feels good in this game. Anyways, we got rid of those guys. I had an idea. My idea was that maybe these trees give us a different type of wood. No, nope, it's just regular wood. How do we get that other wood? Can I break cactuses? Let's check these trees. Nope, that's also just regular wood. Can I break cactuses? No. I'm kind of at a loss for how to... Hit that wood. Ooh, look! We have our first target. Let's go. It's, it's game time, boys. Yeah. Come on. Hit me. Ah, you fool! Oh, okay. That's cool. Come on. Roll. Oh, no. Oh, no. My sword broke. Oh, wait. I got these. Wait. Those do nothing. What is he doing? This does no damage. You can try to run. You can try to run. But you die like the rest. Give me that rare item. Uh, you know, I don't care what I drop. Put the sword here. Give me that. Yeah, we got one of the things that we needed. All right, I'm pushing my luck here. We need to go back to the base. This game just came out. The inventory is smaller than Minecraft's, and there's too many items already. I am struggling to fit things in my inventory and in my hotbar. Wait, who are you? What? If you like to build things and get crafty, I'm around to help. I think I'll stop at your village for the night. Okay, do you do you want to live here? A nice village where I can hang my hat. Yeah, live in my village, dude. Doesn't meet your needs. You don't have a bed for me. Okay, no, hold up. Uh, hold up. First thing, we're gonna make this man or woman a bed. 
They're gonna sleep next to me. We're gonna cuddle and probably kiss. I don't know. Cool. Sign that bed. Not my. It's not my bed. Wait, no. No. Okay. So we got a new bed. So you live in my village. Yes. Yes, we got a villager. That's so cool, dude. This is just like that one Minecraft mod that I want to do a video on, by the way. You should definitely subscribe if you uh, are new here and you want to see that video. Because I do lots of Minecraft stuff. Alright, so. Cool. We got an NPC. Now, before we continue this absolute chaos that we've been ensuing in. We need some storage, man. Like, storage chests. You need six planks per storage chest. That is absurd. Alright, well, you know what? We're going to fight some enemies while we're out here. Because these guys are like... Is he fighting the chicken? You know what? You fight the chicken, man. You enjoy that. Is there a chest here? Uh oh. You know what? Let's take on the wolf. Let's go. Ow. Yeah! Yeah! I broke my weapon. Yeah! We got the wolf! Dude, they're so much weaker when you're actually using real weapons. So, today had been quite the successful day. We had made lots of progress with making different weapons and tools, and we had even gotten our first villager in the brand new village. Now that we were in the phase of working on something bigger, being an actual place to call home, I spent the rest of this night just collecting a bunch of stone to break my pickaxes, since I had like four of them in my inventory, taking out different enemies to get some extra loot, and collecting wood so I could begin crafting storage to get rid of my inventory problem. Because, per usual, I was a loot hoarder. After the end of day 5, I had taken a quick break from the game, and before coming back, I may have decided to make the terrible life choice of spending some money to get this cool skin. So yeah, now I am a demon. Kind of like in real life, not gonna lie. But anyways, with my new skin acquired and me back in the game, I was prepared to get building my base. And I had some huge plans. So I was thinking, I wanted to build a roomy shack. And then I want to start building some gates. I want to start fencing in this entire place. I don't know how many gates it would take. So I'm going to need a lot of wood for that. I did organize my loot into these chests a little bit. I mean... Does does the button have to be escape? Escape is... Why can't it not just be E? Why can't E not just close the chest? That's stupid. That's bad game design. <laughs> okay. So we need, uh, we, need, we need resources. So we need to get wood. So we'll go out and get some wood. And then while we're out there... There's something else that I wanted to get. There was the next bench upgrade. You have to get sand claws and sand shells. We got one sand shell already. So in the sand area, we have to kill enemies. Uh, before we do that, I want to make sure we have a backup axe. So in order to do that, we're going to need three bones and one more wooden rod. Oh, oh god, okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, guys, hold up. Yeah, yeah, run, run, wolf, yeah, come on, come on. Oh! Whoa! Oh god, there's so many of them. What just happened? There's so many of them! Nah, this game is so unforgiving. One second, he was just gathering wood. The next second, he he was rearranged molecularly. That's actual. Oh wait, control the dodge. They didn't tell me there was a dodge button. So now that I had a lot more survivability with all the resources I did have, I just kind of continued through the night doing this. I was just killing any monsters I saw that would come up to me, which were very very common, by the way. There were skeletons everywhere. And I continued gathering lots and lots of wood, so that way I'd have more for the future as I start my more intense building endeavors. You know, there's just something so beautiful about the sunset. So we got all the resources we needed. We're ready to head back to the base. But real quick, I had noticed something off in the distance. Look 
at this field. There's tons of pumpkins. There's tons of corn. I can get vines from it. Dude, this is insane. All right, my inventory is literally full now. We collected over 60 pumpkins. Okay, drop that. Drop that. Give me these. They're all over the ground now. Dude, we have so many vines. We got two stacks of pumpkins. Okay, so we have this entire field of corn that we haven't harvested from. My inventory is full, though. I filled my inventory with wood and, <laughs> and pumpkins. So we're just going to head back to the base. And now that we have all this wood, we can start working on some pretty incredible stuff to get ourselves a real base that's actually survivable. And then after we have our survivable base, we can actually start setting out and getting more loot. I want to go caving. Caving in this game sounds so exciting. All right, so now that we're good to go, there were a couple of things I wanted to make. So the first thing I wanted to make was actually this big shack. It's kind of busted down, but it works. And I wanted to build it like over here, maybe. I was thinking I could put it like right here. And then we could like have some space to also add a wall around the base. I want to put a wall around the base. You know, I get why they want me to do this, but this kind of sucks. I don't like doing this. I'm going to be real. This is kind of like if we had to build it anyways, and we need all the resources anyways, why am I doing it this way? You know what I mean? It is kind of cool though, because it is kind of like in the Lego movie where like they just like, oh, I need to build my hover cycle. And they just like pop it out and build it in like an instant. It's pretty cool. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even know there's a doorway right here. Glad I left extra space. Oops. Kind of sucks that you can't move stuff, though. Hey, you like my village? Wow. Let me just make you a bed. You can stay here. Yeah, yeah. Be cozy. I'm very nice. I will not put you to work on stop. For sure. Yeah, you should live in my village. Yes. All right, so while we're here, we're going hunting. We are on the hunt for... Oh, wait, here we go. This is such an intense fight for just a spider. Whoa, that did so much damage. That did so much damage. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Calm down. You're just a spider. You're just a spider. Calm down. Oh, man. Australians have it rough. Okay, cool. Do they even drop anything special? No, they, they still just drop silk. That is stupid. That is, that is dumb. We're going to collect as much food as we can get while we're out here. Unfortunately, I need more wood. Okay, this is what we're after. This is what we're after. I'm going to make sure we heal. We, why did we not heal? That did how much damage to my shield? He broke my shield? Oh. What? He can break through rocks? This is so unbalanced. Aw, oh, man. Dude, that sucks. Even when you block him, he breaks your shield? Oh, great. Oh, great. Hey, guys. I'm not fighting the spiders. They're not worth fighting. I have my inventory so... So organized, too. Oh, there's something scary over there. What is that? Actually, what is this? This does not look like regular stone. Okay. Dude. Am I good now? Can I can I mine, please? In peace? Absurd. What is this? This is not regular stone. I think I'm gonna die again. Wait. Wait, can I cheese this? Oh, let's go. Wait. Oh. 
Oh no, stand still. Stand still, stand still, come on. Uh, okay. Get one of these. Take it out of your offhand. And eat one of these. It's... Dude, he's got so much health. He's got so much health, this is absurd. Okay. Yeah, sit, sit, sit there and scream. Sit there and scream. I'm running out of ammo. This is bad. If I use this sword, it's just gonna break. This is a this is absurd, man. All the weapons just keep breaking. No, spider. No. Spider. I only got two shots. I think he's gonna one-shot me. And he's actually, like, he's over here goading me to shoot and miss. He one-shot me, dude! He's so close to dead! I thought this was gonna be a chill little, like, it's a Lego game. This is actually unironically, like, up there with stuff like RoCraft in Minecraft. I mean, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing because it's a new game, but, like, why is it this challenging? I have my stuff and all my arrows that I missed, please. Okay, we're going to try to make our way a little bit through the desert area. Maybe I should focus on getting more health because the stuff here just one-shots me. Okay, so we're back at the base. Regroup time. I did at least figure something out. I figured out that you can individually build walls, you can build log walls, and you can build fort walls. So every two wood that we get, we can build a wall, and we can make a fully walled in area around our, like, house. We have to break this, unfortunately. We have to fix this. We have a new friend too, Beef Boss. I don't think we even have any space for additional villagers, right? Or do we? Your village is too crowded. Oh no. Can we upgrade now? I don't know why I keep looking at this. We're missing knot root. Oh, found in caves. Oh. So yeah, we have to find I kinda of figured that because it sounds like, you know, it's called root, but Okay. So we have to find some caves. Anyways, for the time being, now we can craft health charms. I'm gonna craft two of them to start off. And we're gonna see if this works how I think it does. I'm hoping that these are like maybe like these are charm slots and we could just put more than one. <gasps> okay, I was right. Okay, cool. Okay, this is great. So we can make one more. I just need. Oh no, we can't make another one. I'm out of wolf claws. I mean, we can go hunt some wolves at night. It's it's nighttime now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go take out a wolf. Easy, right? I just realized something. The health charms also give us armor, health, and defense. All right, wolves, it's time. I want to get up to. I want to get up to, like, three defense and. Ow! I'm just gonna tank this. I don't, I don't have a shield. Dude, I take like no damage now. You're actually lying. They do a fourth of a heart of health to me now. You know what? I'm pushing my luck. We're going to the desert. I need to know. So at this point, now that I had my new additional health and armor in the game, I was much more set to take care of many of the basic bombs in these areas. After all, the items they dropped were only green and blue, which kind of suggested that there were going to be much more powerful enemies in the future that I was going to have to fight. So for now, since it was nighttime and raining, I couldn't really do much else to keep prepping, but I did make myself that third charm that I equipped, so that way I could now go out to the desert for real this time and take down all of the enemies to get me even better loot. And I guess also better armor. Oh, our burger friend's still here. Well, 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 looky at you. Um, Silk fertilizer, cool. Uh, my issues are compounding here. Uh, there's so many skeletons that just keep getting killed by my house. So we need to build like a fort, but I need wood for that. Uh, to get wood, I need tools. To get tools, I need wood. To get wood with tools, I need inventory space, which I don't have. I have 
tons of pickaxes, though. Don't worry. Uh, I want to go hunting. But at the time being, my current weapons break after, like, three smacks. So I guess uh, I will be spending a little bit of time getting more wood again. Because we wood to wall in our base, to build our base, and to make ourselves more tools. So because of my little predicament when it came to resources, I decided that I needed to stop trying to do this as fast as I wanted, slow down a bit, and just spend some time getting what I needed. So I spent the next three days in-game going out and collecting as much wood as I could during the daytime, then heading back to my base at night to work on my abundance of weapons and tools that I could easily use to continue slaying new monsters. And I also continued building the fort walls around my base that would stop additional monsters from coming and getting way too close to us back at home. By the time I was finished with this process, my base was looking completely different than before, and I was now prepared to take the world on once more. Real quick, I wanted to pause and say thank you all for watching. Whether you're new to the channel, you came from my previous channel that was essentially lit on fire by God himself, or if you're brand new to watching me altogether, you watching and enjoying my content means a lot and helps support me to make more. This video was the first non-Minecraft video I've done in a while, and of course, more Minecraft is on the way, including Cobblemon and better Minecraft, but I really enjoyed this and I hope you do too. If you do want to see me branch out to more survival games, and of course, more Minecraft challenges and mod packs, then don't forget to stick around and subscribe because we are almost a quarter of the way to that sweet 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you all so, so much, and now let's get back to the adventure. So after all of that work, we now have a successful set of walls and we have a bunch of tools and backup tools. Every single tool that I need, I now have a backup of. So we can go out and we can go hunting. We're gonna go hunting to get a lot of the items that we need. And we're gonna try to find ourselves a cave if we can. One thing I would like to say, this game is difficult to get stuff precise in. It's not the hardest, but like, there's like spots like this that I hate and it's all over the place. Like each side is different in some, I mean, you could see the, the gap of light right there. Each of these sides is different in some way. I mean, this side's literally perfect. This side just worked how it's supposed to. No clue why. Anyways, though, we don't have a lot of daylight. So we are going to the desert and this time. We're gonna get some kills. So ideally, while we're here, we can find a cave. That's kind of one of our bigger goals. We're hunting down certain enemies, but I also want to find a cave because I need caves to upgrade my pickaxe. I cannot handle this baby boy pickaxe anymore. It breaks every time. It's like a toothpick, dude. It's like I'm trying to mine stuff with a toothpick. Okay, so we gotta be careful now because we're pretty far away from our base. So any encounter that's even remotely like, okay, I'm not fighting you guys. Any encounter that's even remotely like dangerous, we're out. We're leaving, that's what we're doing. Getting lots of seeds that I can bring back to the base. And I'd still like to find a cave. Maybe caves don't spawn in this biome. Or like maybe you have to like, dig down for caves with a shovel or something. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm out of crossbows. My sword's about to break. I would kill this guy right here. But I'm pretty sure I... Can I win? I should be able to win, right? Come on, let's go. Oh, you're kidding. Come on, buddy. You're not destroying my stuff for no reason. Okay, you're you're a nice guy, man. You're so great. I bet all your friends. Oh no. Woo! I bet your friends and family love you a lot. Sincerely. 
Wow, he's back at my base. I've just never used the roll button. Come on, attack. Dude, you're you're lying right now. Yeah, I got him. Nice. All right, we're already back at the base. So today was a big success for hunting. Anyways, we came back with eight sand claws. We got epic snowberries, which is great. We can get some snowberries now. We got flour, that's great. We got a spicy burger, which is kind of hilarious. Eat to heal, reduce hunger, and temporarily increase cold resistance. We got slurp juice. We got bread. See, especially if I have stuff like this, then it's kind of a problem that... Oh, snowberries are what you use to to cool down. That makes sense. I was eating spicy peppers for some reason thinking that the, the cold symbol was like, oh, it cools you down. That's really stupid. I don't know why I thought that. It was now day 15, and after spending the entire night prepping to go to a cave and doing a little bit of research online, I had discovered what I was missing. So it turns out that the entire empty map that you actually get to use does have a little bit of use. There's a couple of symbols on it that look like mountains. Each one of these symbols, that is a cave. Meaning nearby me, there were three different caves that I could go and loot and continue progressing with the resources that I had access to. So with my inventory all cleared and ready, in the morning, I immediately set off because I did not have a lot of daylight to spare. Ooh, okay. Uh, go away. Be gone! Thought oh, it's like a- Oh, it's an instance thing. Whoa! Did not exp- Oh. It is a very different world down here. I get mushrooms? Slurp mushroom. He has armor on it. Okay, so I'm gonna need torches in one of these slots. I don't know what slot to give up. I guess I should do that. Is this marble? Oh, this is totally marble. Well, we found marble. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies down here. Come on, guys. I'm not even gonna block. Hit me. Yeah. Cowardice. That's what I thought. Okay, this looks like what I'm looking for, actually. This looks like the roots. Oh, this is definitely the roots. Let's go! Not root acquired. I wonder how big these caves actually are. So now that I had gotten some of the resources I came down here for, I continue to make my way through this cave system and collect as many of them as possible. My goal would be that I didn't have to come here that soon, but I would have to make a new pickaxe down the line anyways, so I could actually collect more marble. Either way, this cave was an immediate success and I was already prepared to begin making brand new tools. You know, those caves are kind of wild. They have a lot of stuff in them. My inventory got full very quickly. Like, <laughs> look at all the stuff. I mean, I get a lot of pickaxes as well and I kind of have too many of them, you know, but we got three marble, got some blast powder. We got tons of knot root. We got slurp mushrooms, which we can use for, I'm assuming, Making some kind of slurp juice or probably something like that. And we just came out of there with tons of resources. Like, we got so much stuff. So now that we have not root, there's a lot of new things that we can make. One, we can finally make the shovel. So let's make, like, a, or the new pickaxe, I mean. We can make not root rods, which are conveniently one apiece. I did not expect them to be one apiece. And then there is something else. Oh, we got a green sword, too! Yes! Green sword and green bow? Oh, dude, that's great. Oh, we can make dynamite now, too. Dynamite does 16 damage. It only costs one blast powder and three not root rods. 
That is incredible. So what we're going to do is we're going to get together all of these resources that we have. We're going to make ourselves a new inventory of better items. And we're going to go back to the mines and absolutely obliterate all of the stuff in those mines. So now that we have all of this stuff put together, we can make our first cool headed charm. This gives us five armor on its own, just one of them, three hearts apiece, and it gives us increased resistance to hot temperatures. And I can make, uh, I can't, I can almost make two of them because of the sand shell. Sand shell is the only thing holding me back right now. We can take this bad boy, and boom, now we got more health, we have seven defense, and we have resistance to heat. We are moving up in the world. Now that I had all of my tools at green quality, I was prepared to go back to the mines to continue gathering resources, including the coveted marble. That's right, now that I had a green pickaxe, I could now mine all of the marble on the walls inside of the caves that I could use to even further better my society, to build my kingdom. Overall, I was down inside of these mines for the next two days until the end of day 18. And boy, did I get a ton of loot. We've got like 132 marble. And let me tell you, I pretty much broke both my pickaxes, both the axes. We've also got like 45 knot root. I left so much stuff in the caves, and I also learned that the caves are all connected. That's why I came out of the other cave the one time. But now that we have all this stuff, we are ready to move into the next era. We could start turning this empty plot of land into an actual, like, thriving village. So now that we have all of our resources, it is now day 19, the next day, and we are prepared to do big boy stuff today. Big boy stuff. So... I want to make my own house. We're going to get rid of that. That is trash. I want to tear down this. And I want to build a farm over here. I'm thinking like building like a house, like a villager house right there. And then have just farming. So we actually have like a lot of crop areas. And we can also upgrade our benches and stuff once I move them. We are good to upgrade the village once these are done. But for now, I want to start working on my actual like house. So, I don't want to do any of these because they're kind of all dumps. It's going to be difficult, though. But I'm thinking I'll start the walls. Like, maybe we'll do, like, log walls. I don't want to have to build a log cabin, but this is going to be, like, our first, like, basic area anyways, right? This is our first basic house. I can't think of it as, like... It's not like Minecraft where I can just build the best things right away. So, we're going to, like, do logs. And that also means I have to beat this down, which for some reason, building, when you're building stuff, if you hit it with your fist, it does more damage than if you don't. No clue why. I think I have to one by one. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> it's an open concept, guys. Yeah, this house is dark, depressing, and dumpy. It looks bad. Okay, hi buddy. Maybe I want to get him as like a farmer, right? There's not enough space in the village yet though. Once the village level levels up, should be able to keep him. So boom, 15 planks, and we are good to upgrade the village to level four. Boom, loud noise. Charming bed. Okay, so for me, villagers will occasionally gift items. We have an extra villager at that one. And then here we have villagers can be asked to cook, extract seeds, or tend dirt plots. That's nice. Branching out, villagers assigned to woodcutting will produce more wood types. Yo, that is nice. Okay. The next one, we need 20 planks and... Oh, we could just do it. Just 20 planks. That's not bad. So because it was now nighttime and raining, I couldn't continue using any of my machines. So I had to just wait it out. And that's pretty much what I did in... While I was waiting it out, it started thunderstorming, which was definitely not ideal. Anyways, that new farmer villager ended up leaving because it took too long to upgrade the village because I didn't have the resources. But don't worry, because I had the resources to upgrade the village the next day, things were going to be much better. Okay, so now that we have our village upgraded, there is a lot more stuff that we could do. Oh, we can make yellow walls. We can actually like make a new yellow and white house. 
Let's do, oh, dude. That's what I'm gonna do for my my like house over there. I'm gonna make it kind of like this. After mining stone throughout the entire night in the middle of a thunderstorm and a pile of wolves that was trying to kill me, I finally had come out with a hundred and seventy granite, and I pretty much broke every pickaxe that I had, minus two of them. So overall, things kind of worked out and I was now ready to test out building the yellow house. Now that I have enough granite, we can actually build this yellow house. Ooh, okay. This actually kind of works. Is this gonna be my house? I'm trying to see inside of it. I wanna see how much space it has. Cause I want it to have enough space for like all of the stuff. We're gonna put it over here. I don't think this is gonna be my house. I think this is gonna be the house for my villagers. So it's gonna go like right in this corner, kind of. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of space. I don't wanna waste that much space inside of here though. I don't have much. Boom. Well, that's about perfect. How many stages is this gonna be? We got, boom. Hello? But it, it told me I didn't need anything, what? Now I suddenly need wood? Am I crazy? Wait, am I am I crazy? Oh, I need 59 wood. Up front costs 40 granite. Oh, you scammer. All right, I guess we have to go chop trees. I, I don't even have any axes that aren't like broken. Chop, 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 chop. Now that we have our wood acquired, we can go back to working on this thing real quick. It is... Why? Why is it fighting me? How many steps is this plan? Is this one of the like, surely this is like obnoxious, right? This is like an 18 step plan. There we go, the final touches. Boom, 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 boom. The house is done. And after building this thing, and how long it took, it was like 10 minutes straight. I don't know if I wanna build anything <laughs> like that on my own custom. Cause this seems like it'd be an absolute nightmare. Let's check out our new house though. Oh, it's very roomy. You know, actually this could make a good base house. This could be mine. After going out to get some wood, I now have 64 wood again, 60, 66. That should hopefully be enough that we can use to make enough planks Get them some new beds so I can move all the villagers. We could also get one new villager. And I did just see the burger guy there. And I kind of want the burger guy. He's pretty chill. After this guy dies first. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Her people being me. Now that we're back home, we're going to take all of our lumber. It is time to see what we get from upgrading to level 6. Oh, no, I'm crazy. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, we're just crafting beds, actually. I am dumb. That, that was dumb. This is gonna be my bed because I'm the king. I get my own little bunk area, of course. There's going to be a bed right here, because why not? It's gonna be a bed right there. And it's gonna be a bed right there. That's good enough for now. Now that we have our new people house we have no lights in here it's a little dark which is not great uh it looks like an orphanage <laughs> which is ironic uh i want to build my own house that's that's the thing that we need to do now so we can start making more of these stations and so we can get better chests i i really see the thing is if you place down an, an item you can't pick it back up so I guess the first thing, first, first thing we're gonna do is just break this, I guess. So now that we've got that all cleared up and my inventory is still full, let's do this. We now have 97 wood, which is actually pretty good. So being as indecisive as I, a god tier gamer am, I sat here trying to figure out what kind of house I was going to build and how big I wanted to make it, while also thinking about how in the hell I was going to give it a proper roof, since I had to do all of that and just make it work. 
I sat here building throughout the night, and of course, per typical Fortnite Lego survival fashion, it started raining again. It like rains every other day here. It really wants to be like Minecraft, apparently. After a long night of working and dealing with the rain and cold, I had kind of gotten a relative idea of what I wanted, and I had laid out about half of the walls of the base. And let me tell you, they did not think a lot of this building through. It does not exactly work like when you're building a pre-built. It is kind of finicky getting certain pieces to fit together and making stuff feel exactly how you want it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. So we got some more floors down. I can't see much because it's nighttime again. But we got some more floors down and I built the first chest. And this is this th I saw this and I was like, bruh. So there's more rows down here, right? And I was like, oh, four. Oh, so the original chest only store eight, right? I was like, that's weird. And I looked at the original chest. One, two, three, four, five. So this, this, this store's 10. But you added more rows, but took away a column for the upgraded chest. And I'm going to say this. That is messed up, man. The progression system in this game feels a bit rough, right? Like, it feels like they're purposefully dragging out some of the progression. Like, the amount of work it took to get to green leveled axes that are essentially the equivalent of the Minecraft stone axe is kind of crazy, right? And it kind of worries me. I guess we'll, I guess I'll maybe eat my words later on in the video, depending on what we do. But it feels like they're purposefully making the progression take longer because there's not much end game stuff. I'm hoping that's not the case. But I guess we'll find out. So we're gonna make two pickaxes. We've already got some torches. I don't need this regular meat. I'm gonna save that to grill it. Uh, I am gonna need extra food though. We blew through our food and I need a new sword. Please tell me I need five knot root rods. We just need knot roots. We need tons of knot roots. We need to go on a big mining trip, which means I need another ax. And I'm also hungry. The resources in this game are kind of scuffed, man. I don't know. All right, we're set to go mining, boys. Let's go obtain that grain. So normally on the map, when we go to... They're all connected, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we're going to go to this one over here. Since we've not been in the direct area of it. I did find where they connect. But I didn't actually go th all the way through. Okay, so yeah, this is the part of the caves I have actually been in already. I do know how to get to the next area that we haven't been, luckily. First, I'm taking all the marble I left, because we're here for two things, not root and marble. And I probably should have brought more regular wood to craft things to get those with, not gonna lie. After arriving in the cave, I spent the next three days straight down in the depths, exploring as much as I could, going to new areas, collecting as much marble as I humanly could, and collecting as much of the not root seeds. Unfortunately, halfway through the trip, I uh, broke through both of my pickaxes and could no longer continue to grab more marble. However, though, at that point, I had found a new part of the cave that I'm pretty sure connects to that other third cave on the surface that we had seen. So I continued my way through there, getting as much of the knot root as I can, because after all, that was the number one thing I was here for. And while in here, I ran into quite a few enemies. I ended up breaking my sword, and I had to shoot every single one of these skeletons down in a horde while also fighting spiders. By the time I got to the end of the current cave system, I had accumulated 131 knot root and 48 marble. Not that much marble, but we have tons and tons of knot root, which is absolutely perfect, and I was prepared to leave. Well, 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 what did I stumble upon? A furry? We have to let the tiger woman into the village. Come on. A literal furry? You know what? You're gonna stay. You're not the burger guy, but we'll get the we'll, we'll get him next. Live in my village. Yes, yes, we have new villager. We got ourselves a furry. So we now have a cat woman. Success. That that's the uh, marking of success in this world. Having a cat girl. These do fit there, and then oh man, we can't put another chest right there though. And those have windows. Oh, this this kind of blows. I hate this. 
Uh, what do I do? What do I do about it? Do I get rid of the windows? Oh man, I already placed the chest too. You can't pick them up. I would have to break them. That's a huge waste of resources. You know what we can do though? You can upgrade the village. It is time. Oh, I cost 20 knot root. Uh, that sucks. All right, boom. Level six. Pleasant pavilion. Okay, we got new build recipes. What do we got? So we have access to a new type of lamp that needs bright core still. Ooh, we got nice furniture we can have inside of a house. That'll be exciting to furnish like a house. Oh, we have a garage door. I can have a garage. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of making like a, a bigger door in this side. We can have a garage door there. Okay, that is a cool building. Wait a second. Detached garage. Pleasant pavilion. Oh, I might have made it. I might have made a huge mistake in trying to build myself a house. Oh no. Okay, so I decided not to build one of the pre-builds. We will build those. Just not for our main house. I'm gonna double down and we're gonna see if we can make it look nice. Wait, does she wanna help me? Thank you. Give her forest axe. Is she gonna help me chop wood now? So if I start like chopping this tree, are you gonna help me? Whoa! But she only chops a tree that I'm chopping, right? Realistically, that does not speed up stuff as much as you would think it would. It's still kind of cool. So I did place a couple more of the chests out. And they're kind of... Really not liking it. Not, not a fan. So now that things were kind of coming together with the base, I spent the rest of this night placing out the individual chests inside of the chest room. And of course, per usual, the game decided to rain on me and it was cold. I was cold. Hungry and alone, besides the cat girl, I guess, while I continued building my base. You know, the second that I actually get a roof, I guarantee you this game will stop raining. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. It is what it is. Now that it stopped raining, I crafted myself a second stone breaker, blowing through a lot of my resources, and we're now mass producing even more marble. I finished off this wall, kind of, so now we have like a little door entrance right here. I might add another one. And the idea is this room is gonna be full of chests like this. There's gonna be two full walls like this. There'll be a chest here. There'll be a chest here. There'll be another additional wall just like this one with double stack chests on top of them. And then I can actually maybe think about organizing our, our inventory. We can organize the inventory. We can add additional layers to this house and we can start making a garden because we've got like all kinds of cool machines to build. We have tons of machines that I wanna mess with. So we have the grill I need to make another one of. We have the grain mill, which will allow us to turn crops into seeds, which is good. I was curious about that. We have the gem cutter. I'm curious what that's gonna give for us. Juicer to make food. And we can upgrade our crafting bench to level three. So unfortunately I ran into a huge problem that I did not expect. We ran out of knot root again. Really could have used that 20 knot root. I'm gonna be real. Uh, with this many chests, though, this is way more storage than over here, right? These chests we were struggling with, but we still had enough room. This is significantly more storage. So I think what we're going to have to do is make a couple more tools and probably go back to the mines and maybe even find a new mine altogether to get more knot root from because we need knot root and then we're also going to need more marble. We do have marble. And we do have pickaxes to get more of the good marble. So we can definitely get like a huge abundance of resources. We just have to go back out, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to finish this. I try to do one thing at a time. Otherwise my ADHD brain like kicks in and it hurts. So now that I had a plan all put together, my next five days were very, very productive. The first thing I did was set out to the nearby wood area to get lots more wood to build some of the extra flooring in my base before leaving to the mines. After those floors were placed, 
I made myself some new pickaxes and axes and readied myself to go mining. I was going to need a lot of resources to come back with me to make sure I had enough to build all of the structures that I wanted. Overall, throughout these five days, my goal was to finish the inside of my house, at least to a level where it was all productive, storage was organized, and I had enough resources to actually continue progressing, while also having a roof over my house, so that way I didn't have to worry about rain anymore. It is real cloudy out, and I hope it doesn't rain, but I have so much news as to how that trip just went. So first off, I did not finish the wall of chests, and there's a good reason for that, because uh, A, these roots that we have to find in order to craft these, the knot roots, they're not easy to find, obviously. They only come from, like, individual caves, and you can run out of them in a cave. You can actually finish a cave. So I had to go all the way over here and find this extra cave to get it, which by the way, caves do not automatically pop up on the map unless you walk like on top of them pretty much. So there's caves that I might have missed, but also more importantly, I found a cave over here in the desert and I found a cave down here around this area that's not on the map for some reason. And inside of these caves was a different type of cave. It was like a lava cave. It was too hot. There were more powerful enemies. There was different types of resources that I couldn't mine with a green pickaxe, meaning there's upgrades already. So the next goal is going to be to go to these caves and get that stuff. But first we have to upgrade our crafting bench. Also, while I was in there, I found white chests that had even more storage than these, which is why I did not finish building all the chests, because why waste your time? I think we're good on storage right now. This is a lot of storage. And we have also started building these. They're not maybe in the final places where they're going to be. I'm thinking about building a second crafting bench, depending on if things take a while. We now have two lumber mills. I put one backwards so they face each other, but it looks questionable. I might change that. I'm not sure. But we have the gem cutter now, which makes cut amber, which is used for crafting items and weapons. Basically meaning I think we're going to use this stuff for the future, right? This is going to be for the next level of weapons that we can get, which are probably blue quality, which means we have to upgrade this bench. So we have the sand claws that we need. We have to get three sand shells. We need 15 marble slabs and 12 knot root rods. So knot root rods, easily we have 12. So we'll get that out of the way. We got 12 of those. Marble slabs, how many did it say we need? How many more? Uh, we need 11 more marble slabs. So we got these bad boys. So we got 11 there. And then all we need is to go hunt down a couple of those guys. So these NPCs, besides them actually breaking tools, they are nuts. They never get tired. They don't go away. They just kill stuff. They just beat stuff with you. It's insane. Speaking of insane, look who we happen to have right here. Our first victim. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. It's a two-for-one deal. Ow. Oh, come back. They always do. Oh, that dude got rolled. Pun intended. The best part about it, when you have two people whacking on one guy, he just stops moving. So anyways, we might have the ability to craft this new type of weapon right away. And if they use the ores from these mountains, that's going to be nuts. Because these are very, very easy to get. I'm sorry, chickens. All right, so we got these. We can now make our new axe, which means tomorrow we can go to the new area. That is exciting. If we're going to go there, we need to make sure we have good resources on us. So we can make slap juice which increases stamina regen. We can make slurp juice, which gives us heal over time. And we can make the snowberry shake, which drink to heal and temporary raise heat resistance. That's what we need. So two snowberries and a milk. Luckily, I have tons of this stuff, like laying around everywhere. I just have to scrounge through all of my stuff to find it. Because it's everywhere. 
So it's not that bad, but apparently all I have is enough to make two or three? Wait. Yeah, I can make I can make two. That's not that bad though. Because it gives you ten minutes of the heat resistance, so as long as we have that, that is pretty goaded. Also, we have new things we can craft. We get the essence table. Enchant weapons and tools with powerful essences? There's enchanting? And we have the loom. Create objects made of fabric. That realistically is not as exciting, but in order to make these, we need lots of flex wood. So, uh, yeah. So I'm technically as prepared as I'm gonna get, I guess. I mean, I don't really have a lot of stuff to work with here. I, I have like some different types of food, but the only thing I have that'll stop the heat from actually hurting is those two drinks that I made. For now, our only goal is to just get in there and get enough flex wood that we can make a couple of like flex wood rods. So that's pretty much it. I don't know how to unlock flex wood rod here though. Maybe once I actually mine it, it'll unlock. We're pretty much good to go. It is time to move on to the mine. The first one's like over here. I, I just took a picture of it in my phone because I don't know why I didn't save it on the map. So with all the preparations that I had done, or I guess that I technically didn't do, I had set out with my cat girl NPC in search of the closest desert cave nearby so we could begin getting the new resources. Ah, I found it. Yeah, we found it. I saw that building. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's the magical floating cactus. All hail God Cactus. If you don't leave a comment worshiping God Cactus down below, you'll have 15 years of bad luck. You wouldn't want that, would you? The game keeps telling me how hot I am. I already know that. Like, I, I don't need it. Bad enough all my friends keep telling me, you know? Like, the game is also basically hitting on me. It's crazy. You can see the enemies here are a lot stronger. Look how much damage I don't do to them. There's so many of them, too. I wish I had a good sword on me. Wait. Did they just kill my... Whoa! Okay, okay. This place has hands. Okay, calm down. Nope. Nope. Can I get a second to exist, please? Dude. They don't even drop any better items. They're just insanely powerful. Come on, throw it. Coward. Okay, we need to get this wood. We need to get out of here. This place is scary. If I can break this and it's not just regular wood, that is just regular wood. 13 peppers? Yo, sand claws? Okay. Let the game cook. I mean, the game's cooking me right now without me finding this wood. I, I'm starting to think this wood's not available down here. After being in that cave for what felt like forever, we returned to the surface and began our arduous journey home. On the map, it didn't look that long, but in reality, this took a minute because of all the different hills and cliffs. Either way, I did not find the resource we came here for, so now I was stuck wondering where we had to go next. While heading home, I had the strange idea to smack a cactus, because this entire time, after being in the desert, I noticed that you couldn't damage cactuses. After hitting a cactus one time, it did indeed take damage. Meaning, this entire time, flexwood came from cactuses. That's right, I just spent two days inside of a cave for no reason. After arriving home at the base, we are now making ourselves some flexwood rods. So these bad boys can be used for a lot of different things. First off, brand new pickaxe, baby. 16 sand claw we came back with. We can make a brand new pickaxe. Unfortunately, this does mean that all of our new tools are going to need and like they're gonna need like animal drops to craft. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, 20 flex wood, we can make an essence table, which means we can start enchanting stuff. You know, it's kind of ironic. Not wood is easier to get. You know, it's kind of ironic. Flex wood is easier to get than not wood. Like it, 
it's everywhere. It's all over the surface. But the knotwood is like, you have to find individualized caves that are hard to find. It doesn't make any sense. This is not why I came over here, but look, we have two more guys to fight. I don't want to use the axe on them, but I don't have any other weapons. Yeah, you guys don't even hurt me anymore! Wait, are you telling me that if I take- Dude, this- This is goaded. If I take less damage than two hearts, I'm technically at full health still. So it just heals again! It's like a damage buffer. That's insane. Oh man, I have evolved. I am becoming so powerful. We got a bunch of resources, including... Oh, my inventory is so full, man. Including a bunch more granite. So I can go ahead and make... We're going to have this one make a bunch more granite. We're going to have this one also make a bunch more granite. Good. We got granite machines going. I'd like to make a new pickaxe because I don't want to waste the potential of these enchantments. Okay, so we have a new fresh pickaxe. We take this bad boy. We're going to give it... Unsupplied essences cannot be removed or modified. Okay. Rough amber, granite slab. Boom. And we don't need damage and we don't need... Well, I mean, does damage... Damage your weapons and tools. I mean, it would do more damage when mining. But I'm not sure how much it would, you know, make a difference. Depends on how many swings you have to hit something with. Versus how much durability you get from the essence of durability. For the time being, I'm just going to do all three durability. Because I want to see the power of just, like, perfect durability on one of these weapons. Or, I guess, tools. Okay, so we have enough now. We can give it Essence of Durability a second time. And Essence of Durability a third time. This thing better last an actual decade. This thing better live longer. I, I couldn't think of a good example. You know what, though? It has triple durability. Triple durability. So the real question now is what can this thing do? Which means we have to take it out for a test back at that mine. I think is the best place to do it is to go mining, to get obsidian, and to get rubies, and to get blast cores. But first, since I've been kind of ignoring my village a bit, I think we're going to stay back and work on the base. I want to upgrade the village more. So we need 20 not root rods. Oh, we need more not root rods. Why? And we need 20 marble slabs. So the marble slabs, very easy. We can whip those up immediately. It's almost like I have a chest full of marble. Hmm? Now that those are done, we're going to switch you. We'll make 12 of you there, and we will make 12 of you here. That'll heavily speed things up. And then knot root? I don't know how many knot root rods I actually have. We might have to go out and find another cave. So I have checked everywhere, and unfortunately, we only have 10 of the rods that we need. Not to mention, we still need them to craft other things, right? Like, I think. Pickaxes? No. Yeah, you need them to craft new axes, at least. So that means we have to go find a new cave. So on the map, I explored this cave, and that one is actually a dead end. It was a very small cave with nothing in it. So, I guess we're going to go out in this direction. Because it has to be a grasslands cave to have knot roots. If we go back to the desert, we're not going to find what we're looking for. So, since I need knot root, that's going to be what we're going to have to do today. We have to go find ourselves a new cave on the map. Somewhere over in this direction where I haven't been yet. And maybe we'll find an ice biome. Be able to get some loot while we're over there. But first, I had a big brain idea, right? I know you can make vehicles in this game, but we don't quite have what we need for... Oh, you need flex wood? Okay, so what if I were to, like, place this, right? Small wheel, large wheel. Why is a large wheel, like... Should, should I do large wheels or small wheels? Probably large wheels, right? So we need flex wood, so let's go quickly get a couple of cacti. We're going to knock out a couple of cacti. 
Oh, no. So when I open stuff, it also opens inventory? That's stupid. No. You're lying. Fortnite battle pass. I'm not saying the rest. I've been demonetized once. I don't want to do... Don't want to go through that again. Although I can't even say that because I wasn't even properly demonetized. That my, my main channel is absolutely squeaky clean. Not even a single strike ever. Nothing. Not even... Like, not even a copyright claim. Which is rare for channels. And yet, here we are. Here we are. Love to see it. If you don't need proof that the world's not fair, that's that's your proof right there. Alright, so we got lots of flex wood. We're gonna make some wheels. Okay, okay, hold up. Oh god, this is... Oh boy, uh... They've got to be even. Oh, this is not going to be easy. This feels like Gmod. This is like classic Gmod right here. I don't know where I put it. Did I put it towards the very end? Does that line up? Oh, no, it doesn't. They're not lined up. Oh, wait. Can I use these little, like, spots? Uh, and it's raining. This feels like when I first played Minecraft. I'm gonna be real. First time I ever played Minecraft, everything was, like, new and kind of challenging. You didn't know what you were doing, you know? And I'm not complaining that I know a lot about Minecraft now, but it is kind of refreshing to not know exactly what you're supposed to do. See, my genius idea was I turned this into a car that I could drive, right? And then we put chests on it, and then we can, like, have even greater storage. I know we can make, like, rockets in the future, I know I could put like, I could put I could put thrusters on this, but how do I control it if I put thrusters on it? It's just gonna go straight. I'm just gonna drive straight into the wall. I don't think this is gonna work yet. I don't know why they even gave us wheels if I can't. Maybe once we upgrade the base. So what do I need for the the village upgrade? Ten more knot root rods. Great. Even more reasons for knot roots. All right. Well, it's raining, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump my inventory and we're gonna prep and we're gonna go. Out and journey in the middle of the, the dark, cold night, I guess. So anyways, we can make ourselves a second axe, which would cost us not root rods. I'm really curious how efficient the enchantments are going to be. This is going to be our test. So we have our almost broken axe. Then we have one that's going to have two durability. And we have one that's not going to have any durability at all. And we're just going to kind of, you know, test the waters to see what we can produce here. So I found a cave. I pretty confident it's a desert cave though it might not be because it's close enough to the grass biome we're gonna go inside if it ends up being a desert cave i kind of want to try to mine in there I, I know it's risky and it's not what we set out to do but like i could get you know obsidian and stuff oh it's definitely a desert cave oh we don't have a way to stop the heat though okay can i get any easy resources before leaving here if we can get some easy resources, we're going to grab some before we can just dip. We're going to start taking damage. Ooh, there's rolly guys in here. I don't... Ooh, they're probably dangerous. There's like... I think I take damage so infrequently that I heal it before I take it again. So, since I have this new item, we're kind of good, actually. Let's try to get this obsidian, I think. I think this is obsidian. All right, let's see. Durability test. Yo. Oh, it's blue quality. Obsidian slabs. Wait, these are already the slabs? Ow. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, we're going to get this whole... Ow. We're going to get this whole bunch of obsidian slabs. Are these... Oh, you guys are the worst. What are these? Oh, they're just mushrooms. Okay. Okay. I guess we're I guess we're fighting. Did they kill my Wait. Did they Did they Where's my cat girl? That's a sentence. Get off me! Oh wait, I'm I'm much stronger now. Hold up. 
Okay, okay. Not that strong. I need, I need better weapons. After our long, rigorous fight with those annoying guys, I decided to just mine the obsidian that we could find easily here and just call it quits for there because I did not have the resources that we needed to properly be in here. And that's not the goal of today anyways. I was trying to get more knot root so I could progress my base. Okay, so change of plans. I did mine all the obsidian and I decided to stick around to get a couple more of the resources. And I have discovered the mother load. I found bright core. We can make lights now. We can light up our base. So I've already got 35 obsidian, like I said. Inside this chest, I found a, a green nightshade, which is great. Uh, we've got 19 copper. So we can now make a metal smelter, which costs bright core. Oh, okay. We came out of here very successfully. That was a really successful run. Unfortunately though, our inventory is now full. So we do have to run back to the base. I mean, this cave is like right here though. So we didn't even go that far. After making my way out of that lava cave and deciding to continue heading on through the dark, cold, rainy environment that this world always seemed to have, I was very quickly greeted by a brand new cave in the grass biome. And this thing was full to the brim of knot root. So, I spent the entirety of today in here just mining, and of course, I decided to give Tabby an extra axe, so that way we could both mine together for more efficiency. So, here we are back at the base. I went into the cave, right? And when you talk to your NPCs, you can go, hey, I want you to take this, because you can give them tools. And if you look here, you can't tell what tool is what. You have no indication of what tool is what. So I gave her my blue axe, by mistake, the one with the durability. So then I tried to trade her the other axe for that one, and she took both of them! And now she has both axes, and there's no way to take them out. What terrible game design. What? You can't... Oh my god, that's so stupid! Who thought that was a good idea? So she has both my axes now. So I came home after getting a lot of granite, and I was like, you know, I could just make a new one. Well, guess what I needed those axes for? If you guessed to get knot root rods, you'd be right, because I need knot root. So I can't even make another blue axe now. I also don't even think I have enough amber. I don't... I have I have a green axe I could use, I guess. You can use green axes to chop knot root. It's just, I, I can't even test the durability. Okay, so here's the plan. I could make green forest axes. Gross, we don't want those. I can make a blue one if I get more cut amber. So I think it's like sundown right now kind of we're gonna go over to the desert and we're gonna find a whole bunch of amber i know there's some spots that i haven't built up to i think there's some up there actually oh yeah there's a whole bunch over here because that's before i even knew that you could like build stairs and stuff so we don't even have to go that far to get a bunch of amber so to end off this day of pretty much disappointment i spent the night gathering as much of the nearby amber that i could from the desert biome before heading back home and crafting that brand new axe and this time i had enough resources to give it all three of the durability enchantment so this thing was going to be a beast also Real quick, I noticed this incredible new thing that I had unlocked called a Totem of the Immortal, which allows you to revive after taking lethal damage and destroys itself when being used. This thing also has four hearts of health. It gives you plus seven armor. And I pretty much already had everything I needed to make it because I had gotten Sandbrute scales. So after getting home, this thing was waiting for me. And it was pretty much just a totem of undying but you know what i needed it in my life while i was out mining in this cave this was probably the most profitable run i have ever had so far in this world the cave that i was in had enough knot root to give me over 200 and then have me break through both of my axes to the point where i could no longer even harvest it at that point i was trying to find my way out of the cave but I accidentally ended up stumbling upon probably the longest cave system I have ever seen. There was probably around six to eight hundred knot root in here that I could not mine. I was 100% going to have to come back here in the future, assuming I could even find my way out. At the end of this trip, I ended up being inside of this cave system 
for about three days straight. But finally, after finding my way out, I made my way back to the base so we could begin making massive strides of progression. You know, part of me feels heavily guilty that I left behind all of those resources. I left behind so much knot root, which I mean, knot root in general kind of sucks to just get, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna make, we're gonna start out today with big progress. We're gonna make our five obsidian slabs that we need to give us 35. And I've already made the knot root rods and we should be able to upgrade our village which might get us some extra vehicle parts that we can use. Uh, we need 20 marble slabs. Oh. Boom! Loudest noise in my ear. Okay, eight new build recipes. What do we need for the next upgrade? Marble slabs and rough amber. Yo, we could do this already! Wait! Okay, so 15 marble slams. Toilet paper stand? What? Cozy towel rack? We have, like, we're getting stuff to make, you know, the inside of a house. We don't even have, like, a house yet. I do need more rough amber, which means we have to go mining in the desert again. So while I was waiting to see what I could do next to upgrade my village, I ended up noticing the level 9 upgrade in the village hub, which says go forth and forage. This allows your NPCs to go out and gather resources from biomes nearby, meaning you could get wood and stone automatically this would be massive because i have constantly had to stop to get stone and wood non-stop throughout this series so far so if these guys automatically doing it for me things were about to get much much better so i headed out into the nearby desert biome to get even more amber that i would need to upgrade to level eight and by the time i was finished mining it was now the next day okay so we have everything to level up the village again please give me like a way to drive boom level eight so we're gonna make a totem of the immortal boom and now we have to make a decision what are we gonna replace this gives us four hearts and seven health i think i want to replace this one We'll see what this does. This should take away three of our hearts of health. Give us this. And now we have boom. Oh, we have so much health that we're almost at max. I guess that's max health because there's only one temporary heart now. And now if we die, we'll come back to life. Revive after taking lethal damage. I don't know if that means like full health revive or what, but we have 17 defense now. Now we just need weapons and we're good to go into that cave. The only thing is, why do we only have access to green weapons? Now that I had my new weapons, I had to go back out to the nearby desert to get some more granite. So that way I could make granite slabs that I could use to enchant them three different times. For the enchantments, I was going to use durability and maybe also one extra damage each. So that way I could hit like a dump truck while inside of those caves. After this, I spent the rest of the night just gathering together my resources and preparing to go to the lava cave the next day. I was pretty much as prepared as I was going to be. So now we have our triple durability sword. I couldn't do damage because we're missing resources. We have our pickaxe, we have our axe. We've got some food, a decent amount of food, and we'll bring a shield since realistically we're probably going to need the shield. I don't even think we're going to need a torch that much. Because there's there's lava everywhere, you know what I mean? Also, I don't know why, but now I have two hearts of health instead of the one heart. So that thing's kind of buggy. It seems to be working again, though. Maybe I'm not at the maximum amount of hearts. Who knows? Ooh, there's a lot of... And it's all over top of the lava, too. That's crazy. All right, I'm over the TNT guy first. Oh no! Wait, was that? Oh, I was right. They don't do any more damage. It doesn't matter that I don't have the right stuff to be in here because nobody hurts me anymore. God complex continues. I don't need to block anything. I will be scared of my sword breaks, though, so... 
Ooh, new bow as well. Okay. Okay, things were kind of chill up until here. Uh. Oh, she's gonna get killed. Oh, she's gonna get killed. Stop throwing dynamite! You're throwing it in close range, you morons! I can't even attack them! Oh my god. Hey, thanks for the free granite, but uh, could you stop? You guys are just killing yourselves. Okay, he's gone. Oh boy, here we go. Come on. Aha, bozo. Now that the danger is over, I managed to find this spot with a huge pile of copper. We got copper, we got bright roots. Only problem, my inventory is full. Overall, when I came here, there were four things I was looking for. Copper, more of the bright root, rubies, and obsidian. And at the moment, I have not found any obsidian since the first time we were here. Which really sucks because my tools are getting a little weak. And I, if, I really don't want to run into another incident like we just had. Because they used up an entire stack of my food. That was wild. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop mining. I'm running out of inventory space. We got like three stacks of bright core. Three stacks, actually we have the exact same amount of both bright core and copper. We have 12 rubies, which is not great. And I'm looking for obsidian. I just found, it's like a little piece of it right over there. I think that's the, that's the piece that we left. I have not seen any more signs of obsidian. I'm thinking what we could do is maybe just head to a different cave. I don't have any backup pickaxe at the moment, but I can make an additional pickaxe or whatever cave we find. Or we could just go to the next cave now and we could just get more obsidian and only target obsidian. Of course, it's nighttime. Okay. It was a little bit of a journey, but we are now at the new cave and hopefully there will just be obsidian at the entrance again. Okay. You know, yeah. Now this is my kind of cave. Is this the cave I've been to already? Yeah, we took that already. But we got obsidian, baby. Let's go. All right, so we ended up with 21 obsidian, which is actually plenty. I kind of want to get more. We're going to grab a couple more resources that we have to be that we can get here. I'm not going to go too deep, though, because like I said, my inventory is just full. Dude, there is so... There's like three or four stacks of obsidian here. Okay, so we got an easy path down now. Tons of obsidian over here. A bunch more obsidian over there. Dude, this place is stacked. This place is absolutely goaded, and I'm sad I have to leave. But my inventory is thicker than a Pixar mom. Almost stepped in that lava. And... My pickaxe is like one smack from breaking. So, unfortunately, we gotta go. I think now, officially, we can actually start building the base. Because we're about to max out the level of the village. So we'll have access to, like, everything. Yo, looky who I found. It's Peely. Oh, I need him. Please. Please. No, 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 no. No, I need you. I need you. You have to, you have to stay. Live in my village. Yes! We got Peely the Banana Boys! Yeah! Now we just need the burger guy. Okay. So, upgrade village. Now that we are home, we need 15 flex wood and 10 cut amber. It is time to level up the village and see what the final level is. I don't know how much that's going to cost. We're about to find out. Boom! Now I can send villagers out to get stuff for me. Yes! Peely. I love you, Peely. I want you to help the village. I want you to do a resource job. Okay, what is the final level? Level 10. Level 10 unlocks an additional person. We need 15 flex wood. Oh, we can do this today. All right, we now have all of our crystals and we are ready to max this boy out and see what happens. I'm genuinely pretty curious. Boom! Level 10. Upgrade available. What? We've officially maxed out the village. And we can get one more villager. I want the burger guy. I want the burger man. Maybe we should uh just scrap our house and move our stuff. 
if we're going to upgrade the chest to white chest anyways. So I would like to build a spacious house. I would like to build a jumbo lodge or no, only lodge? Jumbo lodge. Yeah. Wait, is this the one with the cool windows? Wait, no, it's not. Wait, which one is the cool windows? Does that say the, the watchtowers cost a hundred wood? Dude, we're gonna have to go on like a wood montage for all that. Okay, there's a lot of options, but they don't really, they're not, they don't pay off that much. Trying to build your own house does not pay off that well. I don't know what to do with my life now. So if we want to make copper and make a smelter, we're going to have to go and get more resources. But I kind of want to decide on whether or not we're going to build new houses and move. Because I'm not going to spend all that, you know, all those resources to make stuff in here and then just break it and move it. You know what I mean? So at this point in the game, I was prepared to really start working on the area that I called my base. The only thing was before doing that, I now needed one last trip of obsidian and I knew just the spot to get it. The cave that we had just come from that I had marked on the map. So I spent the rest of the night gathering all the resources in my inventory that I would need in preparation to go back on a huge mining trip where I collected all of that obsidian. Maybe if I was lucky on top of that, I could also get a couple more of those cores that I was going to need to make the extra equipment chart. By the time I had gotten home from the cave, it was now the end of the day and I had come home with exactly the right amount of overkill obsidian that I was expecting. Overall, mission success. So now that I am back home, I learned a lot in that cave. First off, that cave is huge. But second off, we got a lot of obsidian. So we ended up with 105 obsidian and it actually stopped mining it because I ran out of inventory space. I brought too many pickaxes. I, I'm so used to them breaking. But uh, we got two blast cores, which I think is not enough, actually. I guess it's time to finally start cleaning up the base area. Because I have waited way too long for this. So first things first, we do not need this guy. He's been chilling here in my way constantly. We don't need him. Uh, can I pick this up? No? Well. Don't need it. Oh! Oh, <laughs> there's so much noise! Why is it so loud? Like a Michael Bay film over here. You know what? Honestly, who needs to chop down trees and break rocks and stuff just from tearing down this tiny little house? I have 106 granite and I'm at 68 wood. I mean, there's not much wood from it, but... Oh, who is this? Oh, I like, I like Sky. I'm gonna get Sky. And we will get Burger Guy some other way. But we'll find a way to get Burger Guy. Yeah! Full village. And we're also gonna do a bench upgrade. So we just need one brute scale and we can upgrade the bench. Just so happens to be, I have lots of brute scales. Alright, let's see what this upgraded bench can make. Boom! We have an epic quality bench now. And we can now officially... Oh! Yo, copper! We can make a forest axe with copper! And then obsidian slabs make the purple pickaxe. And we also have access to the hardy totem. Three arctic claws, five malachite slabs, three brute skills, and three heavy wool threads. Gives us ten armor and four hearts of health, and then we get bonus health. So this will replace the green one. Hey, yo! That means we have to go on a journey. I kind of want to put a bit of work into our base before we do go on the journey, though. But I want to make the bigger chests. Oh, man, this is a hard decision. Okay, so today we have a lot of decisions to make. We've got a lot to do. First things first, not roots. I'm going to make 15 here, and I'm going to make 15 here. This way... We'll have a plethora of these at our disposal. Next, because we need lots of copper, we're just going full send on the copper machine. We're going to make a full 30. So with all the progress we've been making, today has been a busy day. We got knot roots being made over here. 
We're making refined rubies. We're making cords. We're making granite slabs so we can enchant. And we're making copper for just new tools in general. The first thing I want to do is take this forest axe and give it maximum durability. This thing, if it is the best axe in the game, this is going to be pretty insane. And then I do eventually want to take it to the snow biome. But I think for now, we need a lot of work on the base. Okay, so I spent the entire night prepping. And I think what we're going to do before we start building and putting together this entire base... I did a bit of research, and I found out that you can make cars. They just really suck. They're a lot of effort to make. And even if you do everything right, there's the off chance that you flip yourself on a hill. And then the car is gone forever because you can't unflip it. Which is dumb. I don't see why they give us the tools and advertise the tools. You know, they showed people using vehicles in the trailer just for it to, you know, not work. So that means I have to walk all the way to the ice biome. Which means I have an additional choice. That choice being, do I decide to make iron chests using iron? Or do I use copper, which is technically cheaper because it's not as much of a distance to get to a cold cave? Not sure yet. Alright, now that our inventory is all sorted, we got our arrows. We're going to pick up spicy peppers along the way. And our journey begins. We're heading to those ice mountains all the way over there. And so I began what I thought was going to be a long, arduous journey. I made my way through the nearby desert while picking as many spicy peppers as I could. So that way I had extra food and cold resistance while I was in the ice biome. After this, I had found myself in another plains biome with a couple of houses to search. And I even found a brand new cave on top of this mountain. And speaking of this mountain, there was one of the most beautiful views I have seen in gaming while I was up here. You could see the ice mountains in the distance, and it was truly glorious. Anyways, though, after descending my way down that mountain, I finally found myself at the base of the icy biome. And this is where I started finding different types of items that I wasn't used to, such as snowberries and... Even while eating the green peppers, I already started to get cold. Luckily, I had the spicy burgers. Otherwise, I probably would have had to turn around here. Okay, so this place is full of snowberries. What do these do exactly? Oh, they're good for heat. That's ironic that you find, like, the opposite berries in each biome. And it's not really that useful now. Ooh, what are those? Are, you, are those just... Ca no, those are, like, bowls. Wait. There's bowl? Okay, we're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat a burger. Because hopefully this will stop me from being cold. It's also gonna be nighttime. Wow. Are you guys gonna hurt me or are you just cows? Are you bowls? I can milk bowls? Wait a second. That might not be milk. Alright, let's test this new axe out. Are you kidding me? It does seven damage? Well, well, well. Looks like these trees are the trees that we're looking for. Came all this way just for these. How kind of ironic. And I'm cold again. The, the burger's not working. I'm not cold enough to take damage, though, but I mean, where am I? Oh, yeah, we're taking damage. It's not fast enough to kill me, though. I'm not fighting you guys. So, I'm curious if all of these are, like, the same. Like, if I break down this big tree right here, is it going to drop the same type of... Also, I'm not seeing the difference in damage. I'm going to be real. Seven damage. This is enchanted. What do you mean, seven damage? All right, these guys... Came to the wrong neighborhood. Oh, this thing does a ton of damage. Wow. Oh, are those the skeletons that attack us? Oh, man, they're scary looking. They have armor. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. We're leaving. Oh, my God. We're leaving. Oh, wow. I didn't expect them to do that much damage. Can I, can I eat my burger? Ah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. 
Oh man, there's so many of them. Leave me alone! Leave Brittany alone! Where is my NPC? She's probably dead. Oh man. If they, if they don't get me, the cold is gonna get me. I didn't mean to throw that. Did she die instantly? Oh, okay. We're going- we're gonna leave the ice biome so I can run faster. Okay, not okay. So after multiple jump scares of almost death experiences and gathering all of the resources that I came here for initially, it was now time to head home. And I kind of strayed off to the side a bit, so this journey home took the entire next day, and by the time I was finally home, it was now day 60. Well, now that we are safely back at home, I can now make... The purple pickaxe. So we got five cross pines. And then we need eight obsidian slabs. I am so lucky I grabbed an abundance of obsidian. We have so much obsidian. All right, now that we have all the resources, we can finally make the coveted purple pickaxe. And now we can officially mine in ice caves, even though I didn't find any ice caves. Now that I had made my journey to the great winter wonderland, bidding for this time of the year, I know, I decided for the next couple of days to begin working around the base. Because after all, this area has just been a big empty blob of nothing until now. However, when I began deciding on what I wanted to work on first, I noticed another blue smoke drop in the distance with a balloon coming down from the sky. After running over there and waiting for it to fall, it turns out these things just drop a bunch of like, kinda useful loot actually. Things that you'd normally have to craft. I mean, they weren't the most important, but I mean, free stuff's free stuff, you know what I mean? It's like stop signs. Anyways, after getting back to the base, I decided I would craft the remaining missing machines that I needed, including the oven and the grain mill. It turns out the oven's recipes actually are all super easy, too. Most of them only take one of each item, and a lot of them are just basic things you can get from farming. After crafting these machines, I decided to begin working on the pathing for my house. After all, I've been wanting to build the farm area in the center where the old yellow house was for a while now, but first I wanted the area to look kind of nice. I ended up settling with these wood paths. Even though they look like concrete, they're not really wood at all. They're the best things I could use because I didn't really have many other options. And I began building them around the center area that would be where my farm goes. After I had a good portion of the pathing done, I began laying out farm plots using the soil that I got from digging with a shovel and from all of the fertilizer I had been hoarding. And these plots were kind of confusing at first. You can actually put more than one seed inside of them. And when you put seeds into the seed machine, the grain machine, whatever you want to call it, it doubles the output. So I was thinking maybe each and every time I harvested, I was going to have to sacrifice some of them to get more seeds. But after waiting enough time, it turns out that just wasn't the case. For some reason, you could just put entire stacks of seeds in individual farm plots for no reason and they will just disappear. So now that I had figured out the plots, I began making a plan where I would add a full three rows of 10 for each and every type of crop, so that way I would get a full stack of 30 from each harvest. I began by placing out the snowberries and one of the three rows of peppers that I wanted until I ran out of fertilizer. This is where things kind of hit the fan. It turns out that animals are the source of fertilizer, apparently. I mean, I've never actually gotten any from them. And after looking it up online, you have to drop individual fruits on the ground or vegetables, whatever, and have the animals slowly come over to wherever you wanted to capture them. So I tried doing this with my local chicken population, except the AI pathing was so terrible that they could not get through the fence. That's right, if you have a fence with gates or doors or anything, the animals just don't understand the concept. So I had to break a hole in the wall and let them into the fenced in area. So that way the chicken was finally in here. And at this point, I waited throughout the night to see if he would actually drop anything to see if I could get some fertilizer and he, he didn't. So the next day I decided to go out and see if there's any other nearby animals. And after coming home, 
he was just gone. After making all of that progress, I decided to keep on working on the base all the way until day 70. At this point, I had been around the base area for an entire 10 days because I wanted this place to finally start feeling like a home. After our little incident with the chicken, I ended up finding an area nearby where there's a bunch of different sheep and other chickens, and for some reason, they just started pooping now. So now whenever I hang out near animals, they will drop fertilizer, which I desperately need to make even more crops. I spent a lot of this time adding additional crops to the area. However, during the process, I had to fight every step of the way. Anyways, while this was going on, I decided to smelt even more copper inside of the base, so that way I could begin making new chests. Since iron was still quite a daunting task because of the difficulty behind finding an ice cave, I was going to make the iron chests now. And it actually turns out that this wall that I had saved for them was the perfect length for seven chests across. Even even though this game makes you really work for the newer chests, it turns out they also punish you by making them even larger, so they take up more room. However, I still had just enough space on the wall to add an extra shelf above these and begin adding new chests. Now that I had increased amounts of storage in the base, since it had been raining on and off during these days, I kind of just got tired of it, so I decided I was going to finish my roof. I started out by collecting vast amounts of wood that I then used to start adding additional walls around the top part of my base. Initially, I was going to make it three high and then put the roof in the center, but after getting those extra layers, I actually decided to add this cool little attic area up top above all of my machines. That would be an extra little bit of storage or just a place where I could, I don't know, make like a nook or something. I wanted this place to be kind of creative, similar to builds I did in Minecraft, but um... Every step of the way, this game did not want me to do that. After finishing this little nook area and adding the third and final wraparound wall to the top part of the base, this is where things got aggravating, to say the least. Normally when I'm building in Minecraft, I may have a little, you know, mistake or whatever here that mildly annoys me, but this genuinely is so poorly designed that I was upset. I had to walk away from the game a couple of times. While trying to build the, air quotes, roof around this base, the only pieces they give you do not work together whatsoever unless you build the exact types of houses that they want you to build. The default Dan houses. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted my own base. So after enough finicking around with the outside trying to get the roof together, I did end up making this somewhat finished porch, but I, for now, just kind of gave up. This was taking way too long, and ironically, the blue roof ended up making it look kind of like a Lincoln Log set, like from when I was a kid, which is kind of funny, not what I was going for, but at least now, all of our machines were covered with a roof, so whenever it rains, I no longer had to deal with that. In these five days, I did make quite a bit of progress. So, I've made quite a bit of progress here on the base, um... This is what I got for the outside porch area. It's uh, really difficult. All these pieces do not go together whatsoever. I constantly have like weird gaps and stuff. Like right here, there's two gaps because I, I just can't fix it. I started adding like the top to this and it looks nice. I actually added this pillar in between. But right here, because of the length, I had to have a gap on each side. And I can't put one right there. Originally, I wanted to add some kind of like roofing around this little porch bit as well. No clue how that's going to happen. This, this house is... It's looking surprisingly good, even though it's the box. But it's a struggle. And when I go to add this around here as well, I'm worried about breaking our farmland. Speaking of farmland, I got pretty far in it, but I ran out of fertilizer, which is consistently the issue. Uh, so we have our slapberries, we have our chilies, and we have our snowberries. The snowberries infinitely allow you to collect from them, which is goaded. This is a full stack of snowberries right here. Infinitely. The chilies, the spicy peppers, for some reason, when you collect from them, they disappear. Kind of sucks, so I just probably won't be collecting from them. And then the slapberries also just work how they're supposed to. I feel like those are not supposed to disappear. And these also drop, like, vines for some weird reason. Anyways, uh, I wanted to get pumpkins as well. So I was thinking about making this like a row of uh, pumpkins. So that way we can make, you know, like pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie. 
Pumpkin pie is a really efficient food. And then this is the town center that I was going to add more paths around. And I was probably going to put the wheat farm over here. So I'll have wheats over there. Maybe I'll put carrots right there. House right there. House right there, maybe. House right there. This will be our town center. And once we get iron, we can like start lighting stuff up with like lanterns. This area will both be pretty efficient and look cool. Anyways, we got our new cool chests. The store a lot more. And then the final chest would be iron. I'm not sure how many of those I can fit. But we have this nice little area in here now. It's all kind of enclosed. Nice and cozy. Although the camera is a little bit claustrophobic for me. I tried to make it better by making it higher. Couldn't really do it. There's this weird hole right here. I have to figure out how to fix it. I don't know how. But I do have this cool little staircase that I put together. And then this is going to be like our little like nook area up here. Pretty cozy design. Ignore that part. Those have to be facing inwards. Because otherwise I can't place them. Anyways, the resources that we have, we actually might be able to make additional uh, proper chests. For now though, I might just leave it as is. I'm kind of trying to decide what we should go about doing next. Um, we can actually, if we're going to go back to the ice area, which we do need to, we need to get stronger, right? So I want to target some of these. This inner fire charm, we need this. Increase resistance to cold temperatures. We need one more blast core. That's all we need. One more blast core. Which means we have to go back inside a fire cave. Like a desert cave and try to find the blast core. Besides that, there's also this regeneration charm. If we get a third brute scale, we can get that. And that should probably make us good enough to get this. Because then we can go to the ice cave and then we can get a cool headed charm. And get this anyways yeah we've got we've got a good amount of progress going on i spent the entire night working on an idea here and i moved up some of the lamps i changed out the lamps here and i added an extra row and we could fit three high chests technically we could probably fit four high but i feel like it'd be difficult to reach those i think three high is probably the limit here and i was thinking this is going to be like mobs drops like different drops for mobs at first so we have like these are the different shells that we have dropping. These are the different wolf claws, which I, I don't know why there's no green wolf claw. It just goes from purple, blue, and then gray. I'm going to throw this NPC. Uh, and then <laughs> this goes from green, blue, and purple. Don't know why. But I ran out of obsidian to make obsidian slabs. So I can't make any more of these. And I was thinking we could go mining again because we do need more blast cores go to the ice area or we could just go to the ice area now and run around and try to find a cave location and test the waters right go inside of the cave see how bad things are and then try to maybe you know swipe a couple a couple of blocks here and there because if we can get like malachite we can make malachite slabs we'll be set so ironically we spent like the entire daylight that we had just prepping. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we're gonna set off tonight and then once we get there, we'll wait till daytime so that way we can take on stuff during a safer time. I, the skeletons, we can't handle, but we can handle everything else. You know what, I might actually, just because I might wanna make more arrows so that way we have two full stacks. So I feel like the arrows are going to be very important. After crafting a brand new blue quality bow and a new blue shield, I finished gathering the resources in my inventory and I set off for the night out on my journey towards the ice biome. During the next day, it was time to go hunting. All right, so we are here. It is now daytime, unfortunately. At least up here, there's trees. So when I'm building, I don't have to worry about running out of wood. In the desert, there's not as many trees as I would like there to be. Mostly just cactus. Oh, wait, is that malachite? Are you telling me there's no caves here? It's just all out in the open? Please let that be the case. That is so much better. That is goaded, dude. This is perfect. That means we can, like, we can make more progress. That dropped me seven malachite. Oh, if they drop that much each, that's definitely why. They must be rare then. Dude, this is so sick. I'm so happy this is actually the case. I was terrified to go into another cave. I'm going to be real. 
I'm scared that- Oh, there are- Oh, there are ice scorpions! No, thank you! I didn't mean to throw that. I'm scared that there's gonna be one of those big guys up here. If there is, we are bailing so fast. Okay, we found more Malachite over there. There's no enemies in here, right? Ooh, okay, we got more arrows. That's good. And this is the, the biggest size chest. Those things are huge. Just for an extra four inventory space. That's kind of whack. And there's not much in these chests. Okay. I could have expected that much. Dude, look at all this malachite. It's every... Whoa. There's ice spiders waiting for us. Dude, ice spiders are horrifying. By now, if you haven't realized, the only reason I actually have the helper with me is just so she can take the hits for me. She is my bait. That is the only reason she's with me. Because otherwise, she's caused me nothing but grief. I'm gonna be real. It's not very useful. So Malachite's super common, but my only concern is iron. If Malachite's up here, where's iron at? We might have to just make a place to temporarily call home up here. And I was thinking we could even make a little village. Because we could just make the, the village thing pretty easily, I think. Uh, wood and granite, yeah. So we could just make another village. This will be like our backup ice village up here. It'll be like our temporary refuge while we gather resources. Let's go pet these sheep and see if they drop wool. I don't know why I thought killing them would work. That doesn't make... Uh, come here, sir. Sir? No, that they still just drop... Is it like an RNG chance? No? I'm lucky they don't ram me off the cliff. I was worried they were going to attack me. Okay, so the sun is starting to go down. So what we're going to do, we're going to make ourselves a village square. And we're going to put it right here. We're going to make this, I don't know, we'll make it yellow. We're going to make a village square. And then in here, I guess, we could do it up here or we could do it down there. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it does matter. I want to put like a campfire so we can say toasty. If I put it inside, then people won't see it, maybe. Hopefully it won't also kill us. That'd be kind of funny, though, realistically. So this will keep us nice and toasty in here. Oh, yeah, look, we're not even like... Not even kind of cold. Now that we had a temporary toasty place to call home up in the icy mountains, I spent the night AFKing away so I didn't have to deal with the onslaught of skeletons that were waiting outside for me. This biome does not mess around, and with the current set of armor I had, I was nowhere near prepared to take on anything. So, this was how I spent my night. Nothing like another beautiful day up here. It actually is really pretty. But we had to find ourselves a cave, but first there's a couple more veins of malachite that I wanted to take before we continued exploring. Although since our base is up here, we will have like a huge advantage coming back. Alright, as we get higher up, there's more and more malachite. Like there's just malachite everywhere. But I hear one of those big guys. Yeah. Oh wait. That over there might be a cave. We might have just found a cave. First, we gotta take down this dude. If that is a cave, we have a village right next to it, which is a huge advantage. Aha, got him. Oh, what great odds. What great luck we have. No, 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 don't come over here. He will most certainly instantly murder us. Why is he getting closer? Go away. Dude, go away, please. Wait, what? Okay. They're going to fight each other. I'm going to cower in fear over here. No, 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 no. Not us. Not us. Not us. Oh, he killed him. Why does this guy have to be in the one spot I actually have to go to? The cave is right there! This guy is a jerk. This guy is a jerk. I think we're good. Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. As long as he doesn't sense our presence, 
We're fine. It's like I'm fighting Raven from the Teen Titans right now. He just always knows where I am. Oh, not right here. I'm not right here. Go in the cave. Go in the cave. What happens when we come out of the cave? Is he going to be there? Uh-oh. Oh, we got iron already. Uh, we can't be in here. This is too cold. Okay. We got three of these. I'll take that. Take those. We do have iron. So we have our first bits of iron we can use to make what we, uh, what we came up here for. But I don't think I can be in here because we're freezing. Oh, wait. Let's try, uh, let's try eating a spicy burger. Maybe a spicy burger will help. I don't think so. Yeah, spicy burger doesn't help. All right, well, we got a decent amount of iron right here. So we can grab all this and then probably just bail since this place is really dangerous. This stuff is hard to break. Okay, I love that. Also, this cave is non-existent. This is... Is this it? This is the cave? Oh, is that a skeleton wolf? Okay, no. No, we're not dealing with that. So let's go find our way back to our base because we're getting kind of... We're getting kind of far and it's almost nighttime. This place is real dangerous. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Skeletons. Skeletons. Leave me alone. Whoa, why are they so fast? Are you kidding me? Ah! He's gonna kill him, right? He can handle him, right? Yeah, yeah! Teach you to come into my house, jerk. Don't open the... They can't break the door, right? We are hiding here for the night. None of them saw us. No one's going to open the door. Everything is fine. We'll be fine. Okay, I'm finally back at the base. That was very... Why is it so dark in here? That was very stressful getting home. It was like raining and snowing. I was dying of frostbite. Everything that could have gone wrong was literally going wrong. But anyways, though, we can probably go back there much more powerful now that we have a lot of these resources, right? So... I wanted to make this. I, I really want to make this as well, but I don't understand why we would need resistance to hot temperatures. So we have... Oh, we actually, we have everything. We have everything to make this. This would give us more health and more armor. While I was in the middle of trying to piece together a brand new piece of equipment, I actually found out that I didn't even have enough copper to craft that. And since I was entirely out of bright core, I was forced to go back to the nearest desert cave to start mining. And while here, not only did I find ample amounts of bright core, I also came back with even more rubies and copper, which I don't really need more copper because I don't have enough to smelt anyways, but I might as well take it. Not to mention, I also found lots more obsidian which I was also entirely out of. So overall, even though this trip was pretty short, it was very, very profitable. And after I came back home, I was prepared to build everything I would need to survive in the frigid wasteland that was those icy mountains. So now that we're back at the base, I took all the copper. So now we can smelt both our iron and our copper. We have 56 bright core, which is not a ton, but it's, it's an okay amount. I do have to craft, like, lights in there, too. It's really dark. So with that, we have enough iron that we can actually begin smelting some. I'm curious when I smelt some, what it will unlock. It's got to unlock some recipes, right? So we're going to smelt five of them. We're going to smelt five iron and see what that makes us. I do need to smelt the extra copper, but we can now get this, right? No, we can't get this because we need the heavy wool. We can get the charm of resilience, so we have two copper, we have sand shells, and we need three wool threads, which are very easy to get. Okay, so we got our first iron and new recipes. Ooh, new recipe time! Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, 
So we can now make a purple shovel. Who cares? That's a waste of resources. We can now make a purple bow, which costs eight rods, three iron, and one drawstring. That's really cheap, actually. We can make a purple sword, which costs 12 iron. Yeah, that's not that cheap. Um, We can make the crossbow now. We need one drawstring and eight of that. My only concern is I'd like to make an additional metal smelter, but they're not cheap. We need blast cores for that, and we're saving the blast cores for something else. I have been really unlucky at finding blast cores. You know, I'm curious, what can we actually, what can we put in this slot? Surely this slot has to be used for something, right? They don't tell you anything about this slot. What goes there? Okay, so I hate to do this, but hardy totem, I gotta, I gotta replace you. I do have an idea though. I'm thinking, what if we can give, what if we can give things to her? Never mind, you cannot. I was gonna try to make her stronger so she doesn't get like one hit every time, but I guess not. Okay, so we got all of her, we got her a bunch of weapons and I needed more flex rod because I was looking at my inventory and I was like, what is this slot? And I looked it up, it's the glider. You can make a glider, except I forgot to build the loom, which is what you use to make the glider. So that's going to be the first thing we build, but not after we take down this guy. We're going to get a little quirky and relatable today, and we're going to take on this dude. Oh, look, he's already got someone attacking for us. Okay, um, just in case things go wrong, we don't need a pickaxe. We're going to get this for regen. Make that for regen. Get full health. It's go time. All right, buddy. How much health could you have, right? Woo! Okay. Yeah, he's got health. Let's go! Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay. Retreating. Oh... My god! Okay, okay, I was kidding. I was kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I was kidding. Oh my god, they're strong. Dude, stop that. Alright, we need better food if we're gonna, you know, take this seriously. How much damage does the crossbow do? Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be time to retreat. Dude just eviscerated my favorite tree. Wait. Where did my health go? One of my ch one of my equipment's gone. Wait. He killed me? I lost my I lost my totem. All right. Well, we're going to sadly hobble back into the base. That was that was a failed attempt. I think if we want to take him on, we just need better food is the thing. We need much better quality food. And I guess we could even have multiple totems if you wanted to. We could make additional ones and have them on us. Kind of overkill. There we go. Okay, the glider. So six silk fabric, four wool fabric, and eight flexwood rods. Okay, that's easy. All right, this is our last silk thread that we need. We can finally build us the glider, which is way more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. How do I use the glider? Wait, is it just automatic? Hold up. Oh, I mean, it's pretty good. We don't take fall damage now. I mean, it makes sense why there's like those geysers in the desert now. You can just use the geyser and then you can speed up your travel with, with the glider, which it's okay. It's not the most useful thing. It's nice to see this slot filled now. It's still... It says one extra attack. I don't know if that gives me one attack. As in, like, I do one extra damage for everything, or if landing on something with the glider does damage. Not sure. But today was a successful day. So now that I was getting my base all in order, there was a couple more things I was going to need. Because I kept running out of bright core, it was time to find myself another desert cave. Except this time, I pretty much had ran out of resources in all of the previous caves that I've found. 
So now it was time for me to find a new. I began looking at the map and setting off in the direction of the middle part of the nearby desert. And along the way, that big brute guy kind of, I think, was trying to clap my cheeks. Not really sure, but my brand new parachute allowed me to quickly get away from that mega creep. Don't worry though. Once we come back with our new upgrades, we will be back to fight him. Anyways though, after going through the middle part of the desert, I eventually did find a brand new cave and began exploring it, collecting ample amounts of resources while inside. Of course, I got lots of rubies, got some more obsidian, and we got plenty of the bright cores that we had come here to collect. Overall, this took about two days and it was a pretty successful mission. Now that I had the extra fire resistance, the inside of desert caves was pretty much nothing to me. I didn't take any more damage, and everything was GG -E -Z. I was now prepared to finish organizing my base. So I did also get a blast core, which is very important, but I got around like 270 bright core, which is insane. Like, it was all just bright core, super easy to get. I did not take any more copper because I, I guess I, I don't know, man. The, dur the durability is weapons. A triple durability enchanted purple pickaxe broke faster than an iron pickaxe in Minecraft. What does that say? I don't know. All right, wool thread number three. And with this bad boy, we can now go over here and make the inner fire charm. Increases resistance to cold temperatures. With this... And with spicy fruit, or whatever they're called, vegetables, chili peppers, whatever. What are these called? Spicy pepper. With spicy peppers, we should be able to fully not, not freeze to death. So now that I have my plan, I spent the rest of this day and majority of the next one just AFKing around the base, working on the farm to get more pumpkins, so that way I can make some even better food to take on the brute. And as I was preparing that, my copper and soon-to-be iron were cooking, so that way I could fill in more of the chest walls. With each and every new chest I placed on the wall, I could finally start organizing the copious amounts of loot I have been hoarding over these 100 days. And let me tell you, this was so rewarding. I could finally find things easily. I mean, there is no indicators as to where things were similar to like Minecraft or a game like Dinkum. Let me know in the comments if you played Dinkum, by the way. Maybe I'll do a video on it in the future. Really fun game. So, today was a huge success, and... But in no time, I was prepared to take on the Brute. The first one, that is. Because there'd be many more if we could take this man down. Okay, so I kind of finished the chest wall back at the base. And I finished the copper side. And then I realized I actually needed more of this purple frost pine wood to make the iron chests. I also realized that I probably have way more chests than I actually need now, which is kind of cool. I don't have to worry about how much loot I take home anymore. I can just fit them into their chests. So I've been over here and I'm targeting around 160. I'd like to get 160 frost pine. And while I'm here, I noticed this. This is like, this is a cave. And it's technically in the ice area. So this cave, this cave could be an ice. Oh, it's totally an ice cave. Question is, can I actually stay in here and not be like super, Oh, nice, nice, dude, let's go. I, I I knew there was, okay, this pickaxe is not ready for this, but that's okay. I knew there was going to be a new type of resource. What is this, sapphire? So what we use sapphires for? Let's go, we got sapphire. So cut sapphire. What are the other two recipes? Essence of luck? Okay. A legendary quality essence? That's cool. And good luck charm. This is like luck-based items now. That's pretty dope. We can get even more iron while we're here. I'm not going to go too far into the cave, I don't think. But this is like perfect. We can come back here next time and mine here. Dude, there's actually like... There's a lot in here. So I am kind of curious about this cave. I'm curious if that is... Okay, that's also iron down there. Is that a chest over there? So there's even more iron down here, and... 
Oh, there's more sapphires. Okay. You know what? Let's get these. We're going to grab all these, and then once we leave this cave... Oh, wait. Look, there's one of those guys. Hey, buddy. Alpha rocks to me. L. L, Bozo. Okay, we're going to collect all the stuff here, and then we're going to try to get the three uh, heavy wool that we need. And then we'll have that extra charm, which will... Oh, God. Uh-oh. Don't go throwing TNT at me. Oh! I can, like, easily kill them now. Nice! After getting all 160 of the Arctic frost pine logs that I needed and a much-needed cave surprise, it was now time to head back home because I didn't want to deal with what this biome had to give me and my inventory was entirely full, so even if I did find the purple pool that we needed, I didn't have anywhere to put it. Unfortunately, we were going to have to make yet another trip all the way back. After arriving home with all of the wood and extra resources I had gotten from the ice biome, I finished off my wall of brand new iron chests, and I finally fully organized all of my resources. All right, it is daytime, and I am prepared. There is my pile of trash I'm waiting to despawn, and look at my uh, chests. These are nice, and these are finally organized. We got, like, wood chests, we got green wood, we got blue wood, purple wood. We have our different, like, marble. We have, like, granite. We've got, like, the different gems each have their own chest. Pretty much every item has their own chest, except for this last row, which were kind of just, like, dumps. So, this is, like, food items, since I don't realistically think each food needs its own chest. I don't make enough of them. It's not worth it. And then this is just like, you know, foods like fruit and stuff, fruit and veggies. I don't really, I want to give them more storage in the future if I need to, but that's what I was thinking this middle area could be. I could turn these four into additional, like bigger chests. But for now, I'm basically almost out of the wood to do so. I'm down to one stack more of that, and then I've got a little more iron. I spent most of my iron making these chests, but finally we have the best chest in the game and amazing storage. Also, this farm area, it's glitched out. I don't know. I, I harvested the pumpkins and I put more in and they just, they just don't work. Maybe if I like leave the game and come back, it's like an online game. I, I don't know. Farming in this game, kind of scuffed, not very worth it. That's okay. Let's go find us the great beast. Oh, some poop, free poop. All my homies love free poop. So I, I'm pretty sure these brutes stay in the same area. I'd like to get more than one of them dead today, if possible. So that way we can get six of the items. That would be absolutely perfect. I'm just not sure if this guy is even still here. I heard him on the way to the ice biome last time, but he's gotta be like over here, right? Oh, okay. We have contact, it's go time. Eat TNT, nerd! Yeah! Woo! Let's take this man down. Okay, here he comes. So, uh -oh. oh, load he come! Wow, that did like no damage whatsoever. He has ranged attacks. Oh. -ho -ho. I forgot my shield. I have a feeling shield's not going to matter right now. Ow! It takes six seconds to eat this? It takes six seconds to eat the stupid- That's dumb. That's not right. That's not right. That's so not right. It takes six seconds. To, what good is the food if it takes longer to eat? How does that make up for it? Is it even worth doing close range with this guy? I don't think it is. Yeah. I'm just going to stick long range. I don't think close range is worth it. So because of how useless the food situation is, it looks like range attacks are the way to go. 
Especially this purple bow. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that food that heals you more takes longer to eat. Oh, we got him! Uh, why did he drop... Why did he drop a blue scale? We don't need blue scales. We have tons of those. Oh, you're lying. So who drops the green scales? I guess we're just going to go find another one and see what he drops. We're going to craft a ton more arrows. We're going to take another one down. I probably don't need to craft them any more arrows for now. I just want to make sure I have, like, a good amount. The, the bombs that I threw at him basically did nothing. They did less than the arrows do. So the dynamite's kind of useless. Kind of unfortunate. I was hoping it'd be more fun. Loot pinata? Loot pinata? Wolf! Wolf! Get out of here! My loot pinata! Oh, you suck. No, let me, let me pet him. Let me pet him. You're lying. You're lying. Let me, let me pet you. Do I have to sneak up to you or do I have to kill you now? Man. Wait, we can't kill him. Is he going to settle? Go away. You guys are ruining my... Is he going to despawn? Oh, wait. No! You know, I may not have found one of the big guys yet. I did find this place full of enemies to take out. Yes! The rampage begins. Whoa! What? What just happened? Why am I taking damage? All right, we're loading the game back up. If it puts me back in the middle of nowhere in the fireplace, I, um, I'm screwed, right? Not much I could do there. I, I don't know how to get home. I could potentially, okay, okay, we're good. We don't have to care, we don't have to care. Where is it gonna put me? My, is this the same? Okay, cool. It's daytime now too, nice. That is the weirdest bug ever and I'm so glad that I got that. Yo, no, what, no, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, I found this whole town and inside the chest is two heavy wool. That is two of the three heavy wool that we need. I did not expect to find that way out here in the middle of nowhere. We are so far away from home, by the way. So after a little lag incident in the middle of the ocean, I logged back in find, and we continued. I did find this cool little town. It's like an entire town, actually. And there's also some really nice, uh, like, mountains and stuff out here. But ultimately, the one thing I'm searching for is those scales. So I want to get strong enough to get back to the ice area and get the rest of the resources that I need. So that way we can work, we can finish up our base is the final thing I want to do. Because we've already kind of done all the other progression. It feels like the further out I get, the laggier and buggier the game gets. Is this like a whole island? Is that the whole shtick? You know what? Let's go check it out. Let's check out the beach. Only problem is I, I need the brutes to spawn. But, I mean, if I can find green scales in some other chests, that'd be fine. Technically, I could go into a desert cave over here, and the desert cave might also have green scales. At this point, it would probably be easier to do that than to actually hunt down one of these guys, because I... What are you? It's a crab. Does he drop, like... No. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to take down this guy, I guess. He's... Seriously? I find another desert guy. Might as well. I just drew my torch by accident. Is he not going to attack us?
If he doesn't, if he thinks I'm not just gonna stand here and take advantage of him doing that, he's wrong. Eat my pie. Let me eat my pie, please, please. Okay. Where? If you stay on that side, that's that's fine with me. You now jump down. You must exploit the weak. Don't take that out of context. He's really smart with where he attacks, but he's just really dumb about. Yeah! And once again, he dropped blue. Not what I needed. Another blue scale. And he only dropped one of them. Meaning, even if we find... A green guy, he's only gonna drop one. And we need three. I spent about the next two days straight, going around, ignoring every enemy I could, looting chest after chest after chest. And I mean every chest. I could find. I probably opened like 50 or so. And I did end up getting a good amount of resources. We actually ended up with six blast cores. However, I ended up getting tons of blast cores from both chests and by finding the roly poly oly enemies. And for some reason, I kept finding additional sand brute skills to the point where I had more than five of them in my inventory. During this time, I ended up only managing to find one single green brute scale. And I find that so ironic, because if it's green, technically it should be more common. So why was I struggling to get this resource? Either way, I was really running out of time, and I needed to go back to my base to finish things up. So I was kind of on a bit of a crunch. Ended up leaving this cave system and finding an additional one in the desert shortly after to continue my search. So after the last cave being full of mobs, I ended up finding a second cave. And so far we're doing pretty good. I will say we have not found exactly what we needed. We found one. So we have two green out of the three greens we need. But we now have nine blast cores. Meaning we can make more metal smelters now that we don't really need them as much. Ooh, come on. Come on, lucky chest. Oh, that's garbage. Most of these chests are garbage. Luckily, there's a lot of chests in these caves. I wonder if the ice caves could have any, like, high chances of them. I'm trying to get stronger to even go in the ice cave. But at this point, I'm spending all my time here. We still have a long walk home. Well, let's see how this goes, I guess. Yes, we got it! Ow. We got it! Yes! My sword's just about to break, too. Let's go! Oh my god, there are so many mobs here. You know, I wanted to come out of here with six with all the chests I've searched, but you know what? I'm good with three, man. We'll just... We'll just deal with it. I don't know. Well, well, well. Looky here. We got us an exit. As much as I would love to try to get all six of these brute scales... Peace. I'm done. I'm out of there. Uh-uh. Nope. Spent way too much time in there. Whew. Okay. Wow, that was... Look at this biome. It's so pretty. I kind of wish I made a home over here. This place is gorgeous. No, no more brutes though. I need another brute. Oh, this is definitely a green guy. What if he drops two scales? Yeah, hey buddy. He's way weaker. He's taking a lot more damage from these arrows. I gotta make sure to hit him. Because if I keep missing, I'm going to break my bow and then we're screwed. After all this time, I finally find one of the green guys. After I just spend like five days straight caving. What is this? 
Oh, you're toast, bud. You're toast. Yes! He dropped. Please drop more than one. Please, more than one. Oh, it's only one? I have to find another one. I need, I need a sixth scale, man. You're lying to me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't we have a scale in here? Oh, we have a scale! I forgot about that. Yes, I completely forgot about that. So I did a little research at this point on how to get myself the wool. And it kind of is just a drop item. It, it comes from either chests and caves. So we have like the ice caves. Or it comes from like the golden chests that spawn or bandit camp chests or anything like that in the frozen biome. You also have a very small chance of getting it from the sheep that you pet up there. But that is basically so small that it's not worth even doing. So I made myself an enchanted a brand new bow and a new sword. I'm going to get smacked in the butt. And we're going to go take on the ice biome again. We're, our goal is to come back pretty much with just the wool. And then maybe some more iron. My only problem is, even though I just came from all those desert caves, I did not mine when I was in any of them. And I am now out of the bright material again. Which is the exact material that I use. Oh. It is the exact material that I use to smelt my iron. And I'm almost out of iron again. We're going to see if there's any easy picking, like chests inside of the cave. But all the only time I can be in here for is as long as my chili peppers last. Which is kind of scary. Gotta be very careful not to get lost. Okay, we got more sapphire, which we don't really need. Sapphire is not that useful. There's a lot of iron in here. Why does this chest look kind of sus, though? Something's weird about this one. Yeah, that's not what I need. But we're going to go for this chest. You're lying. There is... NVIDIA. Wait, that's wrong. Wrong, excuse me. There's a, gr there's a green brute scale in here. Any other time, I don't need it. All right, guys. Which one of you got shot the most? I just, I just want to kill one of you. What do you guys try? Okay, so I was going to sit up here for the night, but I see a campfire over there, which means bandits. And bandits are... Where did that wolf just go? Oh, it's becoming daytime. Bandits are the best source of getting these, uh, the wool that I'm looking for. So we're only going to be able to make one of those things for now. And then we're going to, we're going to prioritize getting that. And then we're going to go back to the base and we're going to finish building the other houses in the base. Which realistically shouldn't take that long because they're all just like, kind of like cookie cutter houses. You just piece them together. All right, we're not going to be in here long. I just want to see if we can yoink ourselves a chest. One chest that just happens to have the only item that we need. Oh, wait, wait. There's a chest. And it is full of garbage. Garbage. Dude, I should have just went here for the brute scales. I just got another three of them. All right. We're getting kind of cocky. We need to head back. We're going to... We're getting lost in the sauce. We need to leave. Okay, we got three wool. We got all three of the wool. Man, this kind of sucks though, because now... Oh. Now that puts us at five wool. But maybe what I can do is we can go back to the base real quick. Make the new thing come back even more prepared and then get the last one we need and then we'll have upgraded equipment and then we can just finish off our base make our base look nice with five days left to go to conquer this world i returned back to my base after my long very arduous journey and i began crafting myself brand new pieces of equipment after all this time we could finally kind of stand a chance out in the ice area. Yeah, I kind of figured. So we have the charm of resilience. We have the health charm. We have the regen charm. All three of these 
Wow, to get the regen charm, you need a frost brute scale. That's crazy. You also need cursed bones. So the health one is the only one we can actually afford right now. And unfortunately, we cannot make three, or we cannot make two of them. So we're only going to be a little strong. But I'm assuming once you get all three of these purple ones, the ice biome will probably become really, you know, like handleable. But I'd like to stay back and work on the base as well, because we need to work on our base. I need to build a roof to the house, and we need to fill in this big square area. It's still kind of empty. I wanted to originally put, like, lampposts out there as well, but that would mean I'd have to go mining for more bright core again. So today, in the middle of, uh, I had a couple more days to survive in, you know, Lego Fortnite. And here I am, logging into the game, and what am I greeted with today? Lego Fortnite durability buff. We buffed the maximum durability of all tools and weapons. Items crafted before the update may appear more damaged since we increased the max. Dude, I, I survived the entire time dealing with this problem and they fix it now. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. What is this? What is the upgrade your vill- How do I do this? How do I, what is all this? I, how do I, what? Build and upgrade a village square. A village square? Oh, we're totally going to work on the base. We are totally going to work on the base. But first, I have to finish mining to get more smeltability. So after finally seeing the differences for the brand new durability update, which gives you 30%, you get 35 additional percent durability on your tools. That's right, the entire time I was surviving in this world, my tools were breaking way quicker, and now it's just fixed. So of course, because I wanted to get the resources, and I was a little more prepared with the new tools, after mining in the lava cave and re-preparing a new sword, I decided to go back to the ice caves to 1. Get more iron, because I was severely out of iron, which I needed to make different equipment and new tools and pretty much anything else that I needed including more chests which by the way I learned these chests are actually not entirely lined up the ones on the top stick out a bit and I am not fixing that but anyways I went to these caves because I wanted to get more of those purple bones from those skeleton wolves I went inside of the caves mining all of the iron that I could and taking out any enemies and I was much more prepared after getting further inside of the caves I started attacking individual skeleton wolves the safe way by building up and shooting them with a crossbow, which had so much more durability, by the way, until the wolf started acting kind of quirky and relatable. One of them did chomp my teammate's butt cheeks, but she's not that useful anyways, so it's kind of not my problem. And that is until this wolf decided it was my problem because this wolf attacked me next. So anyways, I came back Forgot a torch the first time, had to go outside and recraft one, went inside the cave and searched around until I found this wolf who almost killed me a second time. Luckily though, there was also a skeleton dynamite guy there, which I never imagined I would be happy about, but this man was just enough of a distraction for that wolf that I could go and pick up my inventory. And of course, since I had new items in it, my inventory was full and the only thing that I didn't pick up at first was the stack of seven of these purple bones, the most important thing that I came here for. So I very quickly scrambled to get another item out of my inventory to pick them up, and then I got back to safety, killed the wolf, and finally headed back home. At this point in the series, I'm pretty sure I had already survived 100 days, because a lot of the times it's hard to tell which day it is, and I'll be real, I was in those ice caves for probably two to three additional days after being in the desert caves. I don't really know exactly how much time goes by. I think the days are 15 minutes apiece, but I'm not really sure. But you know what? I want my village to look nice. So for the sake of things, I will just say that was day 99 and that day 100 is, uh, I don't know, an hour long? You know what? Yeah, that, wor that works for me. Anyways, now that it was the final day, I had a lot to do. All right, so it is the final day, and there is a lot I want to accomplish. Um, we did go back over there, and we got quite a bit of iron, as I said, but I do need another heavy wool thread, and I need another cursed bone, actually. We do have plenty of bright core still remaining, 
and we've already got our malachite slabs so we are ready to buff ourselves i actually broke the totem of undying and i did learn that if you're in a dire consequence situation it doesn't matter if you have the totem of undying because unlike minecraft you don't get all the buffs or anything you just get like half a heart back and you instantly die so there are two things i would like to accomplish in this final day that we can truly use as a test against the time against the flow of time itself to prove that we have conquered this game right so number one i want to get my equipment up to purple which we're about to do once we go back to the ice biome and then number two i want to finish building our town boom look at that look at all that health and 31 defense 31 defense. All right, so as you can see, our crossbow is very, very close to being broken. The new durability is great though, right? I mined like 250 of the uh, bright core ores, and I only broke one of these pickaxes in this much. I mined a lot of stuff. Like I was in there for a good amount of time. So anyways, let's fill in our town more. I, I feel like our town's not very town looking. I also would like to figure out how to make paths Oh, wait, that's what the noise is. It's one of the rainbows. Oh, is it close by? Hold up. Ooh, maybe we can get one of the purple wool from this. They do tend to drop pretty good things. Yes. Ooh, what we get? No, my stuff. No way. Too heavy wool? Oh, I can't make that up. I can't make that up. I couldn't even fake that if I wanted to. Dude! Um... So somehow, I just glitched out the game and put five heavy wool in. And... The heavy wool is still in my inventory? What just happened? Wait. Are we cheesing? Oh, uh, we're making regular wool by accident. Okay. I thought I just found the most incredible cheese in the game ever, and I was about to be so excited. But we did get enough of our heavy wool that we can make another one of these purple ones. And I'm thinking, right, we could... Ah, oh, we can't make that one because we don't have the curse bones. But we can make the, uh, the regular one with the brute scales. This will just give us additional health and defense. So it'll give us 14 armor. If we put this on instead of the hot one, that would be sick. There's got to be a better fire charm, right? There's got to be. How do you get the better fire charm that gives you resistance to cold temperatures? I can't take this off. For now, we're not going to go inside of a lava cave, so I could take off the cool one, which is fine. So we're going to replace the cold-headed charm, and this will put us at 35 armor with an additional heart of health. Which is pretty good. And then if we get three legendary ones that all have 14, we will be so set. This one will give us an additional seven. We will be at 42 defense, which might actually be the maximum in the game. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to go back to the ice biome. And we do have to collect one more bone to make this other charm, possibly. Oh, uh, we also... Ooh, we don't have enough heavy wool then. I don't know. We're going to take on the Frost Brute because he's a big boss that I want to take down. So we're going to take him on, which means we have to make a brand new bow. So we need eight pine rods, one drawstring. We're going to enchant this bad boy. And we're going to take this man down. After crafting the brand new bow and giving it triple durability enchantments, I cleaned out the rest of my inventory in preparation to head back to the Arctic to take on the snow brute. Everything that I needed was now in my inventory, and this man was gonna go down. Well, 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 looky who we... Okay, she's broken again. Looky who we have here. This is way further inland than I was expecting to find him. But it's go time. I got like 300 shots, dog. Test me. If he gets stuck behind that rock, I will actually just sit here. Jesus, I don't care. No way. No way is this happening. 
You're lying. <laughs> You're lying to me. He's not... I, I think he's actually just stuck. I've never got one of these guys stuck before. It's Step Root. What are you... What are you doing, Step Root? Oh, the game is lagging. I think because my... My NPC is like glitched upside down and stuck underneath him. That's why this man is just stuck right here. And because I'm on this rock, the wolf... Uh, hopefully cannot touch me. Can, can that wolf go away? Oh, he's also broken. Yeah, exploiting the system. Now this is peak combat. What a good fight. What a good fight, man. Give me your, give me your scale. I earned it. Yo, the inner fire charm. That's how you get it. I had a feeling. Wow, I've never been so... Happy to be home before. I just magically teleported here. Certainly didn't take an actual decade walking back or anything. That did not happen. Anyways, let's see this new charm. I really want to see it. The inner fire charm purple. Meaning there's probably a cool headed inner fire charm. Or there's a cool headed purple charm. Which I'm not sure how to get. And then there's probably a purple immortality charm as well. But I'm fine with this. So we're going to make the regeneration. And we're gonna make the inner fire charm. So we need 30 bright core, three heavy wool, 10 blast cores for that. That is expensive. I'm so glad we have all that. Okay, let's get to making these bad boys. Yeah, the road to making these uh, charms, certainly not a short road at all. This is a lot of resources and they took a lot of effort to get, man. Okay, inner fire charm. And it lagged. Boom! That should give us full immunity to the cold. Uh, why can I not make the regeneration job? Wait. Oh, you suck. You're telling me they both need a frost brute scale? I didn't realize that. I don't know if the regen charm was even worth it or not. I don't know how fast it regen. Technically, it's kind of the same as... What was it? Was it this one? Was it hardy? As the, when full health gain health after a few seconds. So honestly, I'm okay with this. We're not gonna go all the way back over there again. The journey alone, the walk is really bad. This is perfect. We now have an exact replacement. This puts us from 35 base to 42 defense. We are now God-like. And now all we've gotta do is get some granite, get some wood, and finish making our base into a utopia. This place is gonna be nice. So this is Future Pain here. This is a little bit of a flashback. I am playing after the end of the video. And it turns out earlier in the video when I had mentioned, you know, uh, when you upgrade a village that you get like specific items, specific rewards for individual tiers. Well, it turns out that you need to make villages in every biome to unlock more stuff. So I got to the end of the world and I was working on my base. And at that point I was like, huh, I'm missing a lot of the things that they're showing in the menus and they show in the trailer and stuff. These types of buildings that I really wanted to make. I like this building the most, this green roof with like the stone structures. These are beautiful. Well, it turns out you have to be in a desert to get these. And look at these, first we have this absolutely beautiful and it comes with a king's bed then we have this which is like the stone variant of the wall with like a castle entrance which is incredible we have this building which is beautiful and then we have this little castle like building we get those steeps we can make a water well and then we get access to this it's kind of really cool because you can make multiple villages, right? But it's also kind of unfortunate because the desert biome is not a great place to build a base in. And I waited too long to do it. I just had to say this. I, it has to be in the video because when my base is done, I will have some of these houses there. And I just wanted you to know why they're there. Because uh, I, I do go on to mention in this upcoming little bit of voiceover that I do that uh, I played this game more than 100 days. And that is exactly what I did for about the next hour straight. I went out into the wilderness and gathered as much granite and wood as possible, which with my brand new tools that were very powerful and actually durable now, 
was a pretty easy feat, except I needed hundreds of each, literally hundreds, to build some of these houses. After gathering all of those resources, I put together the main houses that I wanted and other structures inside of the base, and then I got to adding lots of small little details like paths and lamps and a couple little things just to finish everything off. And with that, I can now call these 100 days of LEGO Fortnite complete. I mean, technically towards the end there, it was a little more than 100 days, but you know what? No one's gonna complain about extra content. Let me know in the comments what you thought about LEGO Fortnite and what you thought about this video. It's the first non-Minecraft video on the channel that I've done in quite some time. So you know what? I really enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more things because I've got lots of other games I enjoy and I want to do and I'll do videos for it, such as Raft, we have Graveyard Keeper, we have Stardew Valley. Let me know. Just give me ideas in the comments. I really appreciate you all. And if you watch to the end of this video, as it is a new one on the channel, and it is a new channel because YouTube and their, you know, YouTube-esque behavior, it really means a lot to me that you watch to the end. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. This has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all in the next video.